to the wind.
Hi, Catherine. We heard that you have a new commission for us. That's correct. There's a requester who has submitted a designated commission for the two of you. A designated commission? Sounds like it must be pretty important. Uh, what kind of task is it exactly? <laughs> There's no need to worry. This commission is not dangerous by any means. Perhaps you have heard that Inazuma will soon be holding a major festival. The Magnificent Irodori Festival. Yay! A festival! Oh, come to think of it, we haven't attended a festival in Inazuma for a while! The Yashiro Commission and Lady Yai are responsible for all the festival preparations. The one who has requested your help is none other than Lady Yai herself. <laughs> you know Miko! She always has some unusual ideas in her head. You can bet a festival planned by her is gonna be one to remember. We'd better go to Grand Narukami Shrine and see what she needs us to do. Lady Yai is currently at Yai Publishing House in Hanamizaka, so there is no need to go all the way to the shrine. In fact, she has instructed me to have you directly meet with her there. Oh, well that's convenient enough. Let's go then! Tani and Kuroda, how are things coming along? All the books and commission prints for Yai Publishing House were bound and sent out yesterday afternoon, Lady Yai. Very good. And Murata? We have already received word from Epe Kusu and Sailing Breeze that the materials are all in place for Shogun Almighty Reborn as Raiden with Unlimited Power and Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. Hmm, well done. And what about you, Onodera? Onodera? Oh, uh, yes, Lady Yai. Everything is ready for the new issue release party. You are the one who organized the plans for this release party. In other words, you are the team's fearless leader now. So please, show some confidence. Besides, there's no need to be nervous. This project is destined for success. I feel quite optimistic about it. I shall specially grant you leave for the next couple of days, Onodera. Please take the opportunity to have a good rest. After all, you will be very busy on the day of the release party. Yes, Lady Yai. Thank you very much. All right then. Is everyone clear about their assignments? Hmm, good. We are running out of time, so let's get moving. Chop chop! Ah, hello, little ones. I take it you have received my commission, hmm? Some organizer you are! It's nearly time for the festival and you're still over here ramping things up for your light novel business! Shouldn't you be getting back to the Grand Narukami Shrine? You weren't thinking of dumping all the festival preparations on us, were you? <sighs> if so, then you can forget it! Paimon won't accept such a commission! My, my, such harsh words. It hurts to hear that kind of talk from you two. 
But as you can clearly see, I'm here working like a dog for the festival. Yet you say I'm not doing my job. Let me ask you, little ones. Whoever said that the festival must involve the Grand Narukami Shrine? Huh? But isn't that a given? This is Inazuma after all! Yes, that is true. But now that the Sokoku Decree has been lifted, Inazuma is no longer the same nation that once resisted change tooth and nail. Therefore, rather than sticking to the same old traditional festival, the Yashiro Commission and I have decided to shake things up a little. This time, we'll be holding an international cultural festival, distinctly Inazuman, but with a unique twist. <laughs> I suppose I should start by telling you the origins of the Iridori Festival. Legend has it that there were five poets in ancient Inazuma who were supremely gifted in singing and writing poetry. They are known as the Five Kasan. Every year, one of the five would present a collection of the group's poems to the Shogun for review, which would then spark culture discussions regarding those works. Thanks to them, Inazuma's culture blossomed and gained great influence at that time. As time passed, people began creating various tales based on the Five Kasan. The Iridori Festival was also developed as a result to show appreciation for their works, which so greatly enriched our lives. Sounds like a festival that's really rooted in culture. Indeed. To describe it in the words of the ancients, it'd be refined elegance. Unfortunately, with the flow of time, people have gradually forgotten about the Five Kasan and the festival. Which is precisely why I've decided to revive the Iridori Festival by... holding a cultural convention featuring light novels. <laughs> but, wait a minute! Light novels?! Please stop looking at me with those baffled expressions. In ancient times, poetry was all the rage. But nowadays, the entertainment format of choice is light novels. The important thing is not the format, but the creative work itself. It is impossible to come up with anything fresh if you're stuck using some rigid format of the past. Speaking of which, don't you think that the concept of focusing on the now perfectly suits the current Inazuma? And besides, it's a great opportunity to reintroduce Inazuma to all Tavat through light novels. As they say, it's two birds with one stone. Whoa, that was close! Paimon was nearly carried away by Miko's persuasive tongue! Come on, Miko! You can't fool us! We know you by now! This is all definitely stemming from your own personal interest! <laughs> I can't deny that my hobbies had no part to play in this. However, regardless of whether it's light novels or a festival, catching people's attention with a fresh concept is the essence here. Well, what do you say? Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might see at the festival? Uh, maybe a little. Oh, all right, I'm on super curious now. <laughs> Come, let's pay a visit to the venue in Rito together. I promise that it will give you a whole new perspective on the festival. There we'll meet a special someone who will tell you more about your tasks. Iridori Festival, the area around the Outlander Affairs Agency will become the main exhibition space for light novels. Once things are in full swing, not only will there be lots of official and fan-created work on display, there will also be exclusive giveaways, prizes, and new release parties. 
This small plaza in front of the International Trade Association will be called the Five Kassen Plaza during the festival. And nearby shops will be selling special light novel merchandise. You certainly won't want to miss out. Wow. Um, how should Paimon put this? Uh, it's definitely not your typical festival, but it sure looks like it'll be quite the party. in the center of the plaza. Yes, those are... Ah, Lady I did mention that there would be some reliable helpers coming to assist with the festivities. It appears she meant you two. At last we meet again, Traveler and Paimon. Tell me, how are you faring recently? Oh, it's Ayato! Wow, so even a busy guy like yourself to attend the Iridori Festival. Preparing festivals falls under the Yashiro Commission's scope of responsibilities. Seeing as Lady Yai has poured her heart and soul into the preparations, I'm obliged to be equally dedicated. <laughs> Come now, Ayato. We're not strangers here. There's no need to sound so formal. We were just about to discuss the boards over here. They're related to our little helper's tasks, so I'll let you give them a detailed rundown. Certainly. I assume you two already know that the Iridori Festival originated from the Five Kassen. These five boards are here for painting their portraits. This Iridori Festival is not only the first major festival to be held in Inazuma since the lifting of the Sakoku Decree, it is also an event deeply rooted in culture and the arts. Therefore, the Yashiro Commission has personally invited several cultural celebrities from other nations. For example, the artist we have invited to paint these portraits hails from the distant land of Mondstadt. The Yashiro Commission will arrange accommodations and food in Inazuma for each of the distinguished guests. However, we fear that staying in a foreign land may feel a little uncomfortable. Which is precisely why it would be ideal to have someone familiar with both Inazuma and other nations of Tivat to serve as a guide for our guests. I knew you would catch on. It is our hope that you would be able to guide the guests from the harbor to their residence at the International Trade Association, while providing any necessary assistance along the way. This arrival schedule includes the details of the ships on which the guests will be arriving. All you simply have to do is go to the docks at the indicated times. It's settled then. My, look at the time. I have to meet with my editors, so I must be going now. During the festival, most of the Yai Publishing House's editors will be staying near the Outlander Affairs Agency. If you run into any problems, you may find them there. This festival requires the full cooperation of the Tri Commission, and there are still many minor details which require my attention, so I must excuse myself for now. I'll leave the guests in your hands. According to the times written on it. There will be a ship arriving from Mondstadt today. The artist for the five Kassen portraits should be on board. The boat should be arriving soon, so let's head down to the docks. <laughs> Time to go.
take part in the Iridori Festival. We are the festival guides, and we'll show you around. Yes, that's right. We are bards from Mondstadt. Word has it that Inazuma has undergone many changes of late. We hope to find fresh inspiration here. These guests are all bards, aren't they? Well, where's Tongaf Bard then? Huh. Strange. He's pretty famous in Mondstadt. Do you think he didn't receive an invitation? Huh? Why's that? Oh, Paimon sees what you're getting at. Even though Venti no longer rules over Mondstadt, he's still an Archon. If he came rushing to Inazuma at the first mention of a festival, not only would it seem a little childish, it would also sort of be shameless of him, too. <sighs> Mr. Honorary Knight! Paimon! <sighs> it's Kui! Were you also invited to the Iridori Festival? <laughs> no, Albedo's the one who received the invitation. But, because everyone in the Knights of Favonius has been really busy these days, Albedo arranged for someone here to issue me a dependent pass. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. After hearing that Inazuma was making preparations for the Irodori Festival, I predicted that I might run into you here. It seems that you already know why I'm here. Just so you're aware, I'll be using my pen name in Inazuma, Calx. Oh, by the way, do you know where the International Trade Association is? I'll be meeting with the editorial director of the Yai Publishing House there. Yeah, the International Trade Association is where you'll be staying in Inazuma. We'll be heading there too. Great. Well, let's get going then. Slow down, Klee. Please be careful not to bump into others. <sighs> Telling Klee so many stories about Inazuma during the trip was probably not the best idea. As a result, she could hardly sleep all the way here. It appears she's even more excited now that we've arrived. Strange. It seems that the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama, isn't here yet. I'm certain he said that he'd be sure to arrive before me. This might be a problem. Well, Mr. Hirayama was supposed to meet with me and give me some reference materials about the five Kasen today. That way, I could better visualize the content for my paintings. You mean, you had no idea what you'd be painting before you arrived in Inazuma? I only know of the five Kasen by name. Because of the sheer age of the tale, very little has been passed down to this day. So Mr. Hiroyama decided to help me collect some more information. I'm the type of painter who can complete a painting quickly as long as I'm inspired. So I agreed on only receiving the details today. So when do the paintings have to be done by? According to the festival plans, the portraits will be revealed one at a time throughout the various stages of the Irodori Festival. The first one, depicting Suiko, will need to be done before the festival's official opening ceremony, which is the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow? And you're already running out of time! There's no need to panic. When I was working on light novel illustrations, because the manuscripts are shipped by boat, things were always tight and finished at the last minute. Just last month, to ensure the latest book of A Legend of Sword would be finished for the Irodori Festival, I had to complete the final chapter's illustrations the same day I received the manuscript. 
I heard that my illustrations were sent to print as soon as they arrived in Inazuma. I still don't know how well they turned out. Uh, Paimon isn't sure if she should feel sympathetic for your working conditions or compliment you on your artistic genius. Of course, I would still prefer to receive any possible reference materials in advance so that I can be better prepared. Find him, Albedo. All right, it's worth a try. <clears throat> Klee, you haven't slept for a while now. Uh, please stay at our residence in the International Trade Association and get some rest. We will be back soon. Okie dokie. Don't worry, Albedo. I'll be on my best behavior. Can't be happening. The moment we need to contact Onadera is when he's on special leave. <sighs> Kuroda and I will go back to Inazuma City for an emergency printing run. The demand for this book is so high, though. Even with the emergency prints, it still might not be enough. Despite everything, we're still lucky that we found out today. If this had happened a few days later, then we'd really be in boiling water. Ugh. <sighs> hey. Do you think that suspicious guy they found in the warehouse has anything to do with this? Well, the editorial director is on his way over there to investigate the situation as we speak. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but what's going on here? Oh, hey, Traveler. Uh, don't worry. It's nothing, just an internal issue. That's all. How can I help you? I'm looking for the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama. Does anyone know where he is now? Um, uh, Mr. Hiriyama is currently at the warehouse down by the harbor. Oh, hold on a second, Murata. Uh, excuse me, but you must be Calx, the one who was invited to paint the five Kasin for the festival? Yes, that's me. My name is Kuroda. You must be inquiring about information regarding the five Kasin. I do apologize, but please, make yourself comfortable at the International Trade Association, and I will let Mr. Hirayama know to send you the materials right away. Oh, no need. You guys look super busy, so we can go find them ourselves. Uh, well, uh, about that. Excuse me, but is there something wrong with the latest volume of A Legend of Sword? Huh? How did you know? Since you were all aware that Mr. Hirayama needed to send me some supporting materials, that means the editorial director didn't forget about it. Instead, something urgent must have cropped up. To add to that, despite being aware that I am Calx, you were still unwilling to let me go to Mr. Hirayama directly. After considering these factors, the only reason you would try to stall me is if something happened to a Legend of Sword, which I did the illustrations for. Well, uh... Uh, I'm very sorry. The situation is just as you said, Calx. I suppose it doesn't hurt to tell you now. Earlier today, someone spotted a suspicious outlander sneaking around inside the Iridori Festival warehouse down by the docks. So they promptly alerted the Tenryo Commission. The Tenryo Commission was concerned about potential cargo theft, so they contacted everyone who was renting space in the warehouse. It was then that we realized that the latest copies of A Legend of Sword had suddenly gone missing. What? The books are missing? Shh, not so loud. Not only is this book an eagerly anticipated release in the last phase of the Iridori Festival, but the author, Chin Yu, will be personally attending the release party as well. Because of the dire situation, Mr. Hirayama immediately hurried to the warehouse to determine whether the theft was related to that suspicious outlander. I see. It would be a great misfortune if A Legend of Sword would not be released on schedule. And quite a disappointment for Chen Yu as well. If Mr. Hirayama has gone to the warehouse at the docks, 
Then I'll go down to see if I can be of any help. So the author of A Legend of Sword is Jeyu. Sounds familiar. Hey, isn't that Shinkyo's been name? Oh, do you know him? Shinkyo would definitely be upset if he discovers his books are missing. Let's accompany Albedo to the warehouse too. Personal safety at all times. Time to go. I'm here on behalf of the Tenryo Commission, of course. Is that surprising? No, Sara, Paimon wasn't talking about you! So, Tone Death Bard, the suspicious outlander in the warehouse wouldn't happen to be you, would it? <laughs> Considering the evidence, it appears that the suspicious outlander is... indeed me. As I have told you, you are a suspect. Before your allegations of theft and illegal entry as a stowaway are cleared, you are to remain silent. Don't make me say it again. Traveler, Paimon, do you know this self-proclaimed bard from Mondstadt? Uh, listen, Sara. Knowing him, it's safe to say that he wasn't behind the theft. But what's this about being a stowaway? Although he claims to be a special guest for the Iridori Festival, he's failed to present his invitation letter. Therefore, we can only suspect that he might have entered the country illegally. And just a moment ago, we caught him in a dandelion wine crate near the Sailing Breeze. If it would help shed any light on the situation, then please, be my guest. You didn't really come here illegally, did you? Ouch, your words wound me. We've been apart for so long, and the moment we meet again, all I'm greeted with is grilling questions and suspicious glares. <sighs> you arrived in Inazuma via similar means, or so I heard. You of all people should be more understanding, don't you think? Similar means? <laughs> I merely jest. Fear not, for the person who sent me the invitation is none other than Kamisato Ayato of Yashiro Commission. It's unlikely that someone acquainted with the likes of him would ever be here illegally, right? But why weren't you on the same ship as the other bards? Well, once I received the invitation letter, I couldn't help but want to come to Inazuma a little early. It was then that I happened upon a cargo ship bound for Inazuma transporting dandelion wine. So, naturally, I decided to set sail with them. Once aboard, I found the captain to be a kindred spirit, and I was treated to an abundance of fine liquor along the way. Uh, I must have fallen asleep in the cargo crate while carefully comparing the tastes of dandelion wine and Inazuman sake. And when I woke up, I found myself in this warehouse, with a Tenryo Commission General glaring at me from atop the grate. <sighs> Coming from Venti, this story is quite believable, but it still feels a bit... Excuse me, I'm the owner of the stolen goods from the IA Publishing House, and there are some questions I would like to ask you. Based on what you just said, it seems you've been in the warehouse for some time now. If that's the case, did you happen to hear anything unusual? Actually, I did hear some faint footsteps around me a couple of times, but I didn't consider the sound anything out of the ordinary. Mm hmm? But if you clearly heard something, why didn't you feel it was unusual? Oh... I seem to understand now. Huh? What did you notice, Albedo? When it comes to burglars, they are generally associated with prying or rummaging through things. What Venti means is that he did not hear anything unusual like that. As for the sound of footsteps, because this is a warehouse where many goods are coming in and out each day, it is quite normal for people to be walking around. 
I see. But if that's the case, then we're back to square one regarding the stolen books. No, not quite. From the facts that have been presented to us, we can draw at least three conclusions now. First, whoever took the novels is not a spur-of-the-moment burglar. They had their sights in the books from the very beginning. Second, the culprit was very familiar with the warehouse, and might even have a key. And third... I knew you'd catch on, Traveler. One person couldn't possibly transport so many heavy books in such a short window of time. It must have been a team effort. It goes without saying that Venti clearly does not match up with our culprits. Yes, I agree with your reasoning. Mr. Hirayama, the Tenryo Commission will continue by investigating the warehouse staff. If you come across any further clues, please notify us immediately. Yes, understood. I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> I suppose I'm free as a bird then. Not so fast. Even though we've cleared the theft allegations, we still haven't ascertained whether your arrival in Inazuma was legal or not. Aw, tis a shame. I thought surely after my honest account you might let me off the hook. Sir is quite the meticulous one. So, where's your invitation letter, Venti? Uh, yes, the invitation letter. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Uh, I can't seem to remember where I may have put it. Uh, how could you lose something so important? Don't be mistaken. I was well aware of how important it was. But I didn't bring any luggage with me, and the letter was too big to fit in my pocket. So I kept it in my hand the whole trip. Strange. Though I had a little too much to drink, I know that I kept it in a secure place. I even recall being most pleased at coming up with a good idea at the time. If you were holding the invitation in your hand the whole time, then why did you put it down? Well, to properly compare the taste of Mondstadt wine and Inazuman sake, I had to hold a glass in each hand. I couldn't both hold the invitation and a glass at the same time. <laughs> but surely I wouldn't put it in just any random place. It could easily be misplaced. In which case, I believe there's only one place it could be. Have you figured it out, Traveler? Huh? You're way ahead of Paimon. Do you two already know where the invitation letter is? Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> I remember now. I knew you'd help me find it. Hmm. This is indeed an invitation letter issued by the Yashiro Commission. Now that we've confirmed this guest's identity, I have no further questions. However, starting tonight, I would advise you to stay at the International Trade Association. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving now. There goes Sara! Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Hirayama about Albedo's reference materials. Mr. Hiroyama, I'm Calx. We had originally arranged to meet today. Ah, yes, so you are, Calx. <laughs> I'm very sorry that you've arrived in Inazuma only to find such a mess. These are the materials regarding the Five Kasen. All the information that we could find is compiled here. Let's see here. Yes, it's just as I had suspected. Monikers such as Suiko and Aoi no Okina aren't the real names of the Five Kasen. Though there were once many stories regarding each of the Five Kasen, the validity of their contents can no longer be verified in present times. Alas, what a shame. But, at the very least, we know that most of the stories were written according to a similar style, so there is still something we may glean from this. Is the info useful for your paintings, Albedo? To some extent, yes. Uh, however, I must admit that it is still lacking and, uh, 
fails to fulfill the most crucial element. Inspiration. I am sorry that this information is not as exhaustive as you had hoped. However, it is not possible to gather anything more at the moment. Though, Lady Yai did say that there are many variations of the story about the Five Kasen, and everyone has a different story in their heart. So all you need to do is follow through with what's in your own heart, and create something that you yourself find interesting. That does sound like something Miko would say. Thank you, Mr. Hirayama. No need to worry. I'll find inspiration for the portraits. Great. I'll leave it to you then, Calx. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to ask of everyone. Tomorrow morning, Mr. Gen Yu, the author of A Legend of Sword, will be arriving in Inazuma by boat. If you see him, please do not mention the stolen novels for the time being. Whether the stolen books are eventually recovered or not, the Yaya Publishing House will do its best to ensure that the novel's release is a success. Uh, you have my gratitude. I'll be going, then. Well, seems there's nothing more we can do here. Let's go! What are you doing over there? You don't want us to leave you behind, do you? Traveler, Albedo, would you mind coming over here for a moment? There's something peculiar that I think you should see. What is it, Venti? A piece of paper? Indeed. When I awakened to find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. <laughs> I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth having you take a look at what's written on it. told in this poem roughly boils down to Suiko getting tipsy and letting some poems that were meant for the Shogun get stolen. Ah, this story sounds familiar to my ear. Where have I heard it? Seriously? It's literally the same story you just experienced yesterday! Uh, <laughs> oh, indeed it is. Interesting, isn't it? Yes, I concur. The person who left this paper could quite possibly be the criminal, or even a witness to the theft. But... why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? Alright, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Meeting together in Inazuma like this is a most rare occasion. Since we've been busy from the start of the day, let us find an inn with good drink to keep our thirst at bay. Hey! You just sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? Uh, and let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off! No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink together. It'll be my treat. Wait a minute! What about your portrait? As I mentioned before, I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. And now, it seems I've found my source of inspiration. If I use a model as reference for the piece, we must pay him back with the appropriate recompense. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshu Kaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. Albedo, 
You were able to complete the first portrait before the opening ceremony. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. Not only does it hearken to the traditional style of Inazuma, but it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as glorious as always. Hey, don't get too full of yourself, Tone Deaf Bard. You were just a model. The person in the artwork isn't actually you. Well, Albedo, who will be your next portrait? The next one will be Aoi no Okina of the Five Kasen. Albedo, might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? I believe he's referring to the possibility of finding another paper with tales of the Five Kasen. According to the reference materials I was given, we've only found the first of a total of four chapters. Do you think the mysterious person who left the first paper will strike again? That certainly is a possibility. Also, there are some points regarding the stories of the Five Kasen that have left me rather curious. For example, the reference materials make mention of five legendary figures, yet all the popular stories only consist of four parts. It appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter dedicated to Kuro Nushi. Yes, I'm also curious about these stories myself. But who knows, they may merely be akin to the old saying in Mondstadt, Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. So for now, we need but just wait patiently. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Time to go. Time to go. What a coincidence. I was wondering where I might be able to find you, and here you are. <laughs> well, can't I come and see you when nothing is up? Alright, as much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time I'm here mainly for Klee. Before bringing Klee here, I told her many stories about Inazuma. 
It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. However, I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time besides painting the portraits of the Five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. I can't just let Cleve wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. So I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. She hasn't complained, but I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Fortunately, I now have you and Paimon. So, uh... Yay! Mr. Honorary Knight's here! What you talking about, Mr. Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? Yeah! Um, but Albedo is really busy. I can't go too far away or he'll be worried about me. Aw, Klee, you're such a thoughtful kid. Paimon's ah, very thoughtful, thank you very much. Paimon always thinks of you whenever she's eating a delicious slime. Anyway, it is pretty cruel not to let Klee go out when she was so excited to come here. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring Klee on a tour of Inazuma. Klee? Do you want to go play with Mr. Honorary Knight? Yes, you bet I do! As you know, Klee is our Spark Knight. You must keep her safe and sound. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh... <clears throat> try to keep her out of trouble. For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose one of its peaks, or if there were an explosion somewhere in the city, Klee could very well get in trouble. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. Great. I look forward to it. There are loads of cool things to do in Inazuma. Try the local cuisine, visit a shrine. What do you want to do, Klee? Cuisine? What's that? You know, food and drink. Hyman just meant we could take you to a local restaurant. A restaurant? Yay! Snack time! Got it! All right, snack time it is! Let's go! Ramen, actually. Oh, so, um, what are those 
yellow and red thingies on that plate. You're kidding, right? Those are tri-flavored skewers. Mmm, and what about this little yellow cake? That's an egg roll. They're amazing. Have you really not tried one before? Wow, tonkotsu ramen, tri-flavored skewers, and egg rolls. <laughs> they all sound delicious. <laughs> they sure are. Guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. Really? But Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. Also, that's your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. Oh, I remember you. You're Yoimiya's friend. How come you know how to make egg rolls? Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this guy. Why don't you make some for Kree and Iwo? Uh, really? Wow, Paimon is so touched. You're learning. All right, we'll be waiting on those egg rolls. think Yoimiya's are better. Hmm? Who is Yoimiya? She makes egg rolls too? Yoimiya can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy too. Yoimiya's pretty much the best and most awesome person ever. For me, the best and most awesome person in the world is my mom. And Kino's loads of other great people too, like Mr. Albedo, Mr. Honorary Knight, Master Jean, Kaya. Uh, uh, surely she's not going to name everyone she knows. Uh, oh, well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. In most festivals, Yoimiya's so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time, so she can play with us. She seems like she hasn't been in a great mood recently. But maybe seeing you will cheer her up. Okay, let's go play with Yoimiya. Sad? Um... I... Uh... Oh, I know! Let me tell you something that'll cheer you up! Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head! Wow, Matsuzaka. Nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. Don't worry, Yoimiya. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival, but there are still lots of other fun things to do! I know... Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. I'm not that upset, really. 
Yoi Mia, it's me! I want to introduce you to a new friend, an Outlander girl. I just met her. Wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Klee! My name is Klee! Nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yui Mia, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. Um, <laughs> hello! I love the cute outfit, with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique! And your backpack, wow, it's really well made. That's a four-leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck. Really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those. Also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute, too. <laughs> That's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go fish blasting together in Starfell Lake. Oh, Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. Yep. My mom says that when a Dodoko is born, it rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. <laughs> Ride the wind and go off on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. Yep. My mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And Yoimiya, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person, too. <laughs> Thanks, Klee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends, I'm sure of it. Uh, it's so heartwarming watching these two chat away. Hey, Klee! Since you like four-leaf clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four-leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? <gasps> yeah! And after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Dodoko! Uh, hold on a second. Fish blasting? <laughs> no way. Albedo was pretty clear about that. Oh, oops. I got so excited that I completely forgot about that. The folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. What? It's not allowed? But... Okay, then. Hey, come on! You just made a new friend! This is a happy occasion! Why are you suddenly so upset? Yeah! We still have loads of things we can do! Right! Just like Saika said, there are lots of fun things to do! What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast! <laughs> okay then, let's go! When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai? Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. Hmm. By Kawabanga Iki. <laughs> Yomiya, this is a really strange name. Who's this Kawabanga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. <laughs> that would be me. Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine, and When the Wind of Death Blew Towards the Blonde Samurai is the first volume. Mm, Outlander's Brigade? Um, is it a story about the best of friends? Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. Absolutely not! I would never allow such clichés in one of my novels. 
This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very, uh, suitable story for Klee. Um, we might keep looking around. Hey, miss! Don't go! Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off! Have you read this book before, Klee? <laughs> nope, but I know Fischl's story. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Everyone in the Adventures Guild knows. It's just like how me and Todoko are always together. Hmm, I wonder if Todoko is getting bored now. Oh, Klee, I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and you and me up. Mm. There must be plenty of things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Yeah, like, um... I... Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You could show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mm, Mr. Albedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. That's very imaginative! I think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. <gasps> Yay! Great! Dodoko will be so happy! Perfect! Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go! Let's go! You can run so fast when they're motivated. We better catch up. just had a discussion, and we've decided... We're gonna keep the content of the story a secret from you guys, for now. <laughs> Obviously, I can't tell you why, or... <clears throat> You'll see. Don't worry. You can keep exploring the festival while we're busy in the shop. We'll be here when you get back. Come on, Yoimiya, we should get going. Let's go inside and start painting. that we could all paint together! So unfair! <laughs> Actually, Paimon's got an idea! Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a sneaky peek! So, what does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Dodoko goes to eat tri-flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! 
Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Hmm, although it'll cost a lot more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, Yulia. I have some more. Look! Uh, 50 more is probably not quite enough. Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the Traveler for ideas. Mr. Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to trouble him. So, I think I should just go fish blasting to earn some mora. Mm, no fish blasting. Paimon and the Traveler said so. Oh, then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. Who's Mr. Albedo? He's my older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do anything. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Dodoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time, to do paintings for everyone. Oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the Eye Publishing House. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, teaching sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. Yoimiya, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Dodoko's color like this. Wow, I can see the resemblance. All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay, let's write this. Oh, mm hmm. Shoot! I might didn't hear the last part. Dodoko sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodoko. They couldn't be happier. Now, we have to get Dodoko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the Eye Publishing House. Here we are! This is the Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House? Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani! I know Auntie Aratani! <laughs> auntie? <laughs> Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! Uh huh? I don't quite understand. We'd better explain this to her. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but I'm sorry. The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. We'll think of something. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival. And a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. The printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this, we really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? 
seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't let that happen. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Clee to feel the same way. If we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. My, my. Yoimiya has quite a determined spirit. I like it very much. It's Miko, and Obito too! We heard everything. Oh, Lady Ai! It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Let me think... Oh, I know! Yoimiya, little girl, you can print your book, but on one condition, okay? Of course, Lady Guji! Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Klee, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yup, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl! Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady Ai. I'll get right on it. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you, hmm? All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye-bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Yai Publishing House. Yuemiya, Traveler. Thank you for keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Time to go! Look, Mr. Honorary Knight! Auntie Aratani brought us Toloko's story! Now we can finally see what secrets Klee and Yoimiya were keeping from us. Oh, 
It's really nothing that exciting. It's the story of Donoko and me. And me? And you guys. adventure with Dodo Co. This story is Mia Nurimiya's gift for Mr. Honorary Knight. Lady Yai wanted me to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? Oh, are you sure? I mean, it's fine by us, but what does the author of the book think? Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <gasps> hey, that's Mommy's book! So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat Travel Guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it. A joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. Uh, Paimon knew it! Miko would never do anything for free! <laughs> a typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Yep! I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book! It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together! Oh, I'm so glad I came! The Iridori Festival is the best! To request a fanfiction...
Wanna come over for tea?
Wanna come over for tea? visiting from Liyue to participate in the Iridori Festival. We'll be your guides and we'll take you on to the island. Huh? Is it Paimon or have we met somewhere before? <laughs> yes, in fact we have. I'm Shu from Feiyun Commerce Guild. Aboard this ship we have calligraphers, painters, and even players of Theater Mechanicus. The inventor of Theater Mechanicus previously came to the Feiyun Commerce Guild seeking investment. Although the guild manager was not interested, the master still wanted to support them. We heard that they'd be demonstrating the game and letting people try Theater Mechanicus at the Iridori Festival. So the guild manager instructed Master and I to take the opportunity to come to Inazuma and investigate the product's potential. Oh! Speaking of which, where's the young master? Ah, well, uh, Master, he's, uh... Uh, what? Oh. oh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. I presume you are guests in Inazuma as well? It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once again. Oh, we aren't actually guests. We're actually guides for the Iridori Festival. Oh, please, no need to worry. I was a little too caught up in a novel on the voyage here. When I finally realized what time it was, the first rays of dawn were already peeking over the horizon. Ah, uh, yes, now that we've arrived, the Kanjo Commission will likely wish to inspect our invitation letter. Let's keep it in hand, shall we? Huh? That's odd. There was a piece of paper underneath my bag. Strange. I don't recall seeing it there before. Ooh, let Paimon have a look! There's no doubt about it. It's from the same series as the story we found before! Even the handwriting looks exactly the same! The story you found before? Oh yeah! In the warehouse down by the... Uh, by the... The Poem Hunt competition! <laughs> yeah, that's it! A friend of ours is on retail to paint portraits of the five Kassen. You know, as part of the Iridori Festival. Poetic stories about the five Kassen have been hidden in various places nearby. If you can find one of the stories and give it to this friend of ours, then there's a chance you'll become the model for the next portrait. Wait a moment. So you mean that... Uh, hey! It's hard coming up with stuff on the spot like that. There is a chance of meeting Kelks in person? Say that. Really? That's wonderful! I knew that Calx would attend the Irodori Festival, but convincing my father to let me come to Inazuma was proving to be quite the high hurdle. I had to really rack my mind to come up with the excuse of evaluating the investment value of Theater Mechanicus. Just a few days later, word then came that Calx would be busy painting portraits of the five Kassen during the festival. It is a most rare opportunity for both Calx and I to be in Inazuma together. But it seemed he would be too busy with the portraits to meet with me. So, I felt quite disappointed for some time now. Don't worry, Shinjo. Even though Calx has work to do, he still has time to see friends. We can take you to see him right now. Also, we heard that Calx did illustrations for your A Legend of Sword novel. 
Ah, huh, so you've already heard. To be honest, my works have drawn little interest in Liyue. However, the novels are selling quite well in Inazuma with the help of Kalx's beautiful illustrations. Kalx is not only a skilled artist, but he also carries out his craft with great alacrity. I heard that it took him merely a few hours to finish the illustrations for the latest chapter. But when I looked at the art, the brushwork did not even look the slightest bit rushed. His work is truly exquisite. Oh my, I was beginning to get carried away there. Let us depart, quickly now. The idea of meeting Albedo managed to draw Shincho's attention and keep the situation under wraps. Let's just hope we don't let anything slip while meeting Albedo. Traveler, Paimon, how are you? And who is this accompanying you? You must be Calx. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you. I am the author of A Legend of Sword, Gen... Ah, forgive me. It's rude of me to introduce myself by my pen name when meeting in person. Please, call me Xingcho. And you may call me Albedo, then. No, no. That would be most improper. <laughs> Why not? Seeing as we're both friends of the Traveler, it'd be more convenient for us to use our real names. Besides, we've already corresponded with each other many times before. In fact, I feel a bit self-conscious seeing you act so politely. <laughs> it's not just you, Albedo. We haven't seen Chincho act this awkward before either. Uh um, you guys, it's certainly not good taste for you two to be teasing me like that. Oh, by the way, we happened to find a story from the poem hunt competition at the docks. I heard that you are collecting them. Hmm? Poem hunt? Uh, you know, that thing where we have to find pieces of paper with stories of the five cousin? Uh, Venti found one, and then he was allowed to be a model for one of your portraits! <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, we understand the story now. Thank you, it's very helpful. Splendid! Though, I'm still piecing together the story myself. Would you kindly explain it to me in more detail? If all of you are free, why don't we discuss this over a meal? Uh, well, about that... Do you have other plans, Shinjo? Uh, no, no, not at all. Speaking of dining... Shimura's unagi chaskia is quite delicious. Would you like to go there? Shimura's? Uh, unfortunately, today is a bit windy. Uh, how about Uyu Restaurant instead? That's perfectly fine with me. But I must first unpack my luggage. Let's meet later at Uyu Restaurant. Hmm. Something didn't quite add up just now. Oh, do we say something we weren't supposed to? <laughs> no, Paimon, I'm not referring to us. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Huh? Shinjo's suspicious? Hey, what are you two talking about? Paimon, you read the poem, right? Although it may seem confusing to Shinjo on its own, what if we read it together with a previous poem we found? Read them together? Hmm, let's see. Suiko lost Aoi no Okina's poem in a drunken stupor. So, Aoi no Okina recovered the poem and gave it to some mysterious person. Huh? Wait a minute. Could today's story be hinting that the one who stole the latest copies of A Legend of Sword is Shinto himself? No way! That can't be right! Shinto only arrived in Inazuma this morning! 
That is precisely the point of suspicion. If Shinjo had only just arrived in Inazuma, how could he recommend Shimura's Chazuke? Moreover, he didn't raise any questions when I suggested another place because of the windy weather. This means he knows that Shimura's is an open-air restaurant. Hmm. Are you saying that Shinjo has already been in Inazuma for some time, and that he's only pretending he just arrived? Yes, that is indeed my conclusion. But how could Shinjo be the book thief? His mission is to fight for justice, isn't it? There's no way he'd do something against his own ideals. Uh, calm down, Paimon. Even though this is the first time I've met Shinkcha in person, we've communicated via letters for some time now. I do have some understanding of his character. I think there must be some deeper motive at play here. The story also tells us that Aoi no Okina flees with a poem because of a threat. Oh? Could Shinjo be in danger? It's difficult to say at this point. But given that Uyu restaurant is indoors, It'll be easy for us to detect anyone following or eavesdropping on us. I think it should be safe for us to talk there. I'll be relying on your assistance to get to the bottom of this matter. Good. Then let's head to Uyu Restaurant. see anyone suspicious around. It seems clear for the moment. Let's go inside and wait for Xingqiu. First, we must ascertain whether Xingqiu was already in Inazuma or not. If we can find evidence of him deceiving us, then we can use it as leverage to persuade him to tell us the truth. Since we're still waiting for him, why don't you go and chat with other guests in the restaurant and see if you can learn anything useful? The last phase of the Iridori Festival is when they release the all-new publications! The one I'm really looking forward to is a Legend of Sword! That's right! A signed first edition is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. I've seen Gen Yu's signature before. His handwriting is super neat. He must be really diligent about his style. He'll be there in person on the day of the release, so we'll get a good look at him then. I hear that he's actually pretty young. Wait a minute! Did you just hear that? Not only will Shinjo be signing novels at the release, but his handwriting is super neat! <laughs> there has been so many live beyond. Hello there, what can I get for you? Hi! Do you have any special recommendations today? Why, of course. I'd personally recommend our freshly caught seafood. It's been pouring these past few days, so the fishing boats haven't been able to sail at all. But the weather finally cleared up today, so we have some fresh catch. So the weather at sea has been bad these past few days? It sure has. A few guests from Liyue were just telling me that their boat was heaving and rolling all the way here. They couldn't do anything but sleep the entire trip. Oh, this might be some useful information. Albedo, what should we talk about when Shinjo gets here? Any ideas? Hmm... I will try to break the ice by talking about our work on novels and illustrations. If he really is hiding something, 
then he might feel even more nervous than we do. If we start by talking about our work creating novels, perhaps he will lower his guard. Oh, come to think of it, Shincho mentioned that he'd like to thank you for finishing the illustrations on time. He said they looked amazing despite the time you had. Is that so? Hmm. That is also a very valuable clue. Mmm, that was delicious. Inazuman cuisine largely consists of fresh seafood, which is certainly to my liking. <laughs> That's good. We were worried you might not have an appetite because you didn't sleep well. Now's our chance. Let's talk to Shinkyo and see if he says anything useful. Maybe we could start by asking him about the journey. Well, I've never embarked on such a long journey before. Though I was quite excited when we set off, the long days at sea quickly became most monotonous. Speaking of the journey, did anything noteworthy happen along the way? Well, to be honest, I spent most of the trip with my nose in a novel. <laughs> well, that didn't tell us much. To be honest, there wasn't much to see. Just water all around, morning to night. The sheer monotony of the trip caused everyone to grow a little impatient. So, when the peak of Mount Yogo finally appeared in the distance as we approached the islands of Inazuma, Everyone crowded the deck to have a look. However, the ship sailed along at a crawling pace. It took a whole day from the time we saw the mountain peak to the time we docked. Paimon didn't catch anything suspicious so far. Oh, right! If it took an entire day to reach the docks, then it would have been pouring rain at the time they saw the top of the mountain. We learned a couple of things from his account, but we still require more evidence. Let's discuss creating novels with Xingqiu. While it is entertaining to read novels, writing one is an endeavor of its own. You must give great thought to every detail, from the layout of the plot to the rhythm of the lines. And even when you have come up with interesting content, there's still no guarantee that it will be to your liking. I couldn't agree more. Whether it's writing a book, creating art, or studying alchemy, Seldom can you really feel joy after seriously delving into the work. Shincho and Albedo are getting into some deep topics now. But nothing suspicious has come up. Speaking of illustrations, Albedo, I've long wished to express my sincerest gratitude for providing the illustrations in my novel. My novel didn't sell well in Liyue, so I must admit that I had some reservations regarding its potential. Yet you've consistently managed to select the most important scene of the chapter for your illustrations. This made me feel as though what I was trying to express could be understood after all. Uh, thank you. However, I took some risks in the illustrations, so... I'm feeling slightly uneasy myself. Light novel illustrations are typically centered around the characters, but this time... I adopted a different approach in the illustration for the last chapter. Well, that scene was intended to depict the change in the world, so I thought it very fitting to draw only scenery. Hmm... Doesn't sound like anything suspicious has come up so far. No, there was a crack in his alibi. My illustrations were sent for printing the moment they arrived in Inazuma. So, logically speaking, there's no way he could possibly know what the illustrations look like. Uh, Xingqiu, we have something very important to ask you now. Oh? Why the solemn looks all of a sudden? Huh? I'm afraid I don't follow. Mr. Okazaki told us earlier that actually the weather at sea was very bad these last few days. So when you said that everyone came running to the deck to see Mount Yogo, that couldn't have happened! On top of that, the latest installment of A Legend of Sword will only be revealed at the Irodori Festival. Even we, the creators, haven't received a sample copy. If that's the case, how could you know what my illustrations look like? Uh, uh, well... The 
heads up, Shincho. You were already in Inazuma before today, weren't you? Are you in some kind of danger but can't tell us the truth? Don't worry. The Traveler and Albedo are no pushovers. We can help you. No, no. Please. You misunderstand me. <sighs> I suppose my lack of sleep is inevitably taking its toll on my mind. I didn't notice for a moment that you were testing me at all. I did, in fact, come to Inazuma early to handle some things. Let me consider how to explain this. <sighs> oh, this is most embarrassing. Oh-ho! Well, if this isn't a coincidence, I didn't expect to see everyone here. Huh? Tongue Def Bard, what are you doing here? <laughs> I heard that the owner of this establishment has some fine-aged wines. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to taste them. Hmm. Hyman knew you couldn't possibly be up to anything good. Says who? <laughs> In fact, I come as the bearer of good tidings. I just bumped into Kujo Sara a moment ago. She said that the Tenryo Commission has apprehended the criminal who stole all those copies of A Legend of Sword. You needn't worry about it any longer. Huh? The criminal who stole... A Legend of Sword? Uh, did I say something I shouldn't have? Oh no. The person they apprehended. Was it by chance an editor named Onodera? Apologies, Kujo Sara didn't mention a name. But I saw her taking someone toward Hanamizaka. Everyone, it's too late to explain. We must make haste and rescue Onodera! Wait! Onodera is innocent! Oh, so you must be the author of A Legend of Sword. I didn't expect to see others tagging along with you. Anyway, you mustn't take him away. I can explain everything. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I've just explained everything to Madame Kujo, and Kuroda has testified for me. Yes. In fact, we were just getting ready to leave. Oh, phew. What a relief. Hmm, wait a minute. Does everyone else here already know? <laughs> <clears throat> well, to be precise, we had dispatched two additional squads here, in order to prevent the suspect from escaping. Uh... Shinjo looks pretty flustered. What exactly is going on here? Uh, ahem... <clears throat> Though it's most embarrassing, it appears quite a few people are aware of the situation now. There's no use keeping it a secret. In the end, I'm the one responsible for this whole predicament. No, Jen Yu. It's only appropriate that I take responsibility for this. Everyone, please let me explain. For the Iridori Festival, I recommended the idea of selling newly released novels signed by the authors. Not only was this the first major project I was in charge of since joining the Yai Publishing House, but Lady Yai also gave me a lot of support. However, I did not discuss our plans with the authors in advance. As a result, it caused a great deal of trouble for Gen Yu. Yes, to be frank, calligraphy is not my strong point, so signing events are really not my forte. Even though such an event will be difficult for Gen Yu, after telling him how important the plans were to me, he immediately boarded a ship to Inazuma to come up with a solution. So these past few days, Jin Yu has been actively practicing his handwriting. However, it takes time to sign each book, and we realized the time we reserved for the signing was not nearly enough. So I came up with the idea of moving the new books from the warehouse to my place. That way, Jin Yu could use these few days to sign them all. I thought everything would work out without a hitch. 
I never expected that someone would immediately realize that the books were missing from the warehouse. To make things worse, I was on vacation and staying with Jen Yu in my house these past few days. I had no idea that the situation had turned into such a huge mess. <sighs> All of this happened because I wanted to prove myself through this event. Onodera, I agreed to your proposal because I didn't want the readers to know of my unsightly handwriting. Also, I knew that Onodera had been misled by one of my prior signatures. At a previous event, the Yai Publishing House had requested autographs of authors so that they could be put on display. I practiced tirelessly for an entire day to finally deliver a stylish and elegant signature for the event. But, looking back on it now, I had dug myself into a hole by delivering that nice signature for the sake of my pride. Hey, come on you two, loosen up a little. The theft was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. Besides, everyone has something they do not wish others to see. Yeah, that's right! All that matters is that Shinjo and his books are okay. Onodera, I think you should explain the truth regarding the stolen books to the rest of the people on Rito. Yes, I understand. I'll apologize to everyone. We should probably be heading back to Rito as well. Let's tag along! Onodera? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on leave these few days? I'm very sorry for all the trouble that I've caused. Yes, Onodera, but... Why didn't you tell everyone earlier? If you had told us, we could have thought of some ways to help you. That's right. We're a team, and we should be helping each other in tough situations like this. Let's leave the past behind us now. Our first priority is to help Jen Yu with his signatures. How is your progress so far? My progress is not what I had hoped for. Even after working through the night these past few days, I've only finished perhaps one-tenth of the signatures. Oh, no wonder Shincho looked so sleepy today. I understand. Murata? Go back to the Ai Publishing House and get Aratani to book a room on the second floor of the Uyu restaurant. We'll be using it for Gen Yi's emergency calligraphy lessons. Yes, Mr. Hirayama. It just so happens that my brother is a calligrapher. Should I ask him to lend his assistance as well? Yes, good idea. Ah, you've just reminded me. Two calligraphers from Liyue arrived today. We've worked with them before, so I'll go and ask them to help out too. It seems I'm really in for it now. No need to worry, Zhen Yu. I'm sure you can do it. Didn't you finish the last chapter of your novel in just one week's time? Yes, but writing novels and learning calligraphy are two entirely different skills. Even though Sing Cho still has to deal with his handwriting issue, Paimon somehow feels a little relieved now. I always used to prefer working alone in my workshop. But I've come to realize that solving problems with others also has its merits. We also owe a special ode of gratitude to the mysterious person who has been leaving important info for us along the way. Huh? You mean whoever left behind those stories about the five Kassen? Pardon me, but what are you talking about? Oh, right. We haven't had a chance to explain things to Shinkyo yet. I see. It appears that Onodera and I were spotted when we were moving the books. Albedo, may I ask you one thing? Are you able to include me in a portrait as well? Not only do I owe the successful resolution of today's incident to that story, but I also hope that I'll remember this lesson. No problem. Considering the similarities between the portraits and the events that have taken place, your proposal is very reasonable.
That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. Albedo really is something. He finished the portrait of Aoi no Okina in no time at all! Wonder how Shincho's calligraphy training is going at Uyu Restaurant. Hey! Do you think whoever left those stories for us could be hiding somewhere nearby? Oh, hello! Mr. Story Writer? Are you here? Uh, could you please help Shincho with something? He's a friend of ours, and the release of his new book is super important to him. Oh, what's that sound? <laughs> it was just a cat. Looks like we can't make them reveal themselves that easily. It's getting late now. Well, let's go back and get some rest. We still have to go to the docks and wait for another ship tomorrow morning.
What's the hurry? Keep watch. You leave, you call me.
Adventure time! Let's light it up! the hurry.
over one person. That means we're only welcoming one guest today? Into the wind.
The world remains constant over the centuries. But human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. Steer is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. Theater 
What's the hurry? Let's light it up! 
Many complaints. What should I do? Ah, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. What a headache. Well, we tried talking to them, but the original point of these entertainment facilities was to let people freely enjoy the festival. So in principle, it's open to everyone. And there's no time limit on usage. This means that as long as they haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it, there is nothing we can do. So, can you try negotiating with them for us? If these complaints can't be resolved and Madame Cujo finds out, I'll lose my bonus this month for sure. Hugging a photo board, huh? <laughs> we know who would do something like that. Should we go and have a look? <sighs> Thank you so much. You'll find them by the Tanuki photo board just east of the square. Traveler, Paimon, what's happening? Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival too? Oh, see, I knew it! Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> oh, you're such a child. We're here 
to take care of a little problem. Yo, yo, right. Yeah, well, who's got a problem? The Arataki Gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. Wait, huh? The Arataki Gang is the problem! The Terrio Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody else has had a chance to use it. Oh, uh, well, no, we haven't. Oh, uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. Explain the situation to these good people. Yes, boss. The story starts two months ago, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. As everyone knows, this is a festival all about showcasing culture, with books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. Our boss is very forward-thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki Gang and help craft a glorious public image. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves. <clears throat> uh, well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. Of course that was your main reason. At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, boss planned to write 60 pages. But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of one line. Well, I mean, come on, you gotta make sure the quality is up to scratch. More like worst procrastinator ever. So we cut some of the planned content, and figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. But the day after that, the boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. Everyone loved it! It felt like we only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by! I'm telling you, this game? It's pretty incredible. I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? Sure you were! Inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about. So, then we only had two weeks left. No way was that going to be enough time to publish a book. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. That way, we'd only need to think of a slogan. That makes more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? Yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. But 30 was too many. And we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. It took us a week to make the final decision. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing, because there was so little time left. And we couldn't afford it! You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job, and <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. The Arataki Gang only puts out the very best into the world, and that is why I decided to give up on that project. That, yep, well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and Oni alike. But it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo 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 max And the way you chose to enjoy yourselves was to commandeer a novelty photo board? Um, so at first, Boss brought us here to buy some drinks. He said there was some sort of Iridori Festival limited edition soft drink available. That's right. This ain't no ordinary drink either. It's a special edition joint creation of Sailing Breeze and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel, Pretty Please Kitsune Guji? Uh, what? But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked, and then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, all the drinks were sold out. We were pretty disappointed, but there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. 
Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? <laughs> I beg to differ. It's public property. We didn't commandeer anything. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. Yeah, boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki gang, and we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan, too. Oh, brother. What a noble cause. But we spent so much money on our appearance. We only had enough left for one of those drinks. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. But you can't just take over this photo board for yourself because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it too. I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. So come on! Let someone else have their turn already! Um... Um... But you know full well that the Arataki gang has a reputation to uphold. If I say I'm gonna make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's gotta have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. <clears throat> that being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. The Arataki way, huh? Paimon has a bad feeling about this. So I, Arataki numero uno Ito, challenge you to an all-out, no-holds-barred, anything-goes duel. If you win, I will leave this board alone. Oh, beetle fighting is an awesome idea! Just so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni Kabuto the other day. I call it... Demon of Darkness. Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today, so... Huh. Well, that's a relief. So, how are we gonna do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um... Yeah, ugh, wow, this is a, this is a tough nut to crack. Let me think for a second, um... Hey, look! Isn't that Toma? Guess he's here for the festival, too! Why don't we ask Toma how to do this duel? Paimon bets he'll have tons of ideas! Toma! Toma! Over here! Hey! Traveler and Paimon! Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Maybe I could just turn my diary into a light novel. Oh, ow! Where did that come from? Let's go find some treasure! Wait, 
Get in line over here. Thanks for your support. Just turn my diary into a light No one's joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go. Please, get in line over here. Maybe I could just turn my diary into a light issue. Thanks for your support. Ow! Where did that come from? Get in line over here. Thanks for your support. Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Please, get in line over here. What a nice surprise meeting you guys here. <sighs> well, I heard that a certain well-known individual had made an appearance at the festival and taken quite a liking to the Tanuki photo board. Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Hmm. Red Horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader of the widely renowned Arataki Gang. Is that right? <laughs> Toma, my bro, your eyes do not deceive you. And you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you too, um, bro. Serious bromance developing here. I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry, you can tell me anything. It's all Ito. He wants to. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It's no, no. It's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel, and uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Oh, a duel. In that case, I have a suggestion. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? Then, you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? Volunteering competition? I, uh, sounds a little low-key. Not quite hardcore enough for the Arataki gang. I give this idea an interest rating of uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. Boss means, uh, two points out of a hundred. <laughs> yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing Breeze, as a small token of appreciation. On second thought, this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki gang. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, 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 wait a sec. What was that part about the, uh, token of appreciation? Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House and Sailing Breeze. It's really nothing special. Boss, that's the one! If we take this gig, we'll get that drink! Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude, maybe I didn't explain properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of two. <laughs> if there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. It's an awesome idea, totally hardcore, practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing! Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. Hey, this is the mighty Arataki above all bold-blooded Ito you're talking to here. 
I'm a say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, we're gonna have this duel. AKA doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. If it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. The volunteer work is simple. You just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. I will assign some job requests that I've already received to you. If you're ready, we can begin. Hi, hi, Nancy. Okay, our first job is to help a busy vendor. His stand is just nearby. Are you the volunteers? As you can see, there's a lot of dust and debt. I've just been so busy with my customers these past few. Can you help me clean up the place? One with nature. You're finished already? You're wonderful. Let's see. Our next job is to help a visitor. Hey, mister! Hey, Kajirai! Fancy meeting. I'm not playing games. I heard they were selling a new kind of... But I, I couldn't find... <laughs> Can you help me, Miss... <sighs> so basically, every... Are you the festival ball? Oh, great. But I have to get all can you please help me take What's the hurry? Ah, <sighs> <sighs> uh, you must be the volunteers here to save the day. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. It's freshly made every day. In fact, the last batch of soy milk we processed has just been sent over. You'll get to try it very soon. I've been here ages, completed my tasks a long time ago. So there you have it. When volunteering is the name of the game, no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito. <laughs> you lose, I win, and to the victor go the special edition spoils. Behold, the drink of champions, created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with Yai Publishing House, and as featured in the popular work, Pretty Please Kitsune Guji? Woo! All this talk's making me thirsty. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Drink of champions, it's time to come home. Ah, woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! That's the good stuff! That was a mighty fine drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although, maybe it was past its prime. Boss! They said they think there might be, uh, b beans in the drink! Huh? Ah! The boss is down! The boss is down! Quick! Get him to a doctor! What's wrong? 
Can Tomataki Ito drink soy products? He's allergic to beans! Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, quick, grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not too serious. I'm sorry. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. Leave Ito to me. I'll make sure he stands again. Don't worry. I'll see you later. So, your friend is allergic to beans. It's a very rare condition, though I have heard about it. I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. I feel terrible. If you don't mind, please, take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. Please accept it, along with our sincere apologies. Our crowdsourcing is now underway. Take part and win prizes. <laughs> What's the hurry? <gasps> Look! That figure on the wharf! It looks like Kazuha! Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. I heard there would be guides for the Iridori Festival, but I didn't expect it would be you two. <laughs> we didn't expect to see you either! Returning as a guest for the Iridori Festival, no doubt! I was a little surprised myself when I received the invitation. But after wandering the outside world for so long, it's good to have an opportunity to return to my homeland and pay respects to my old friends. Kazuha. When we saw you in the distance just now, you seemed to be looking for something. What happened? Ah, yes. You see, when I came off the boat with everyone just now, I suddenly heard light footsteps around me. I could tell they were not footsteps of a regular passenger. But by the time I turned around, the person had already disappeared. I only heard a splash come from below the pier. Even though I didn't manage to catch a glimpse of them, I found this strange piece of paper by my feet. Oh! Does the paper happen to have a poem written on it? Huh. How did you know? Fascinating. It's almost hard to believe such things could happen. Sure. Here it is. Please, have a look. Last time, Aoi no Okina's poem ended with a reference to Akihito. And sure enough, this is a story about him. The story this time basically says that Akihito got his name from his love of red seals. However, the Shogun discovered that he had committed plagiarism, and he was soon exiled. Well, if I'm on where to rate today's story, it sounds pretty unfortunate. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with this story. I too was once wanted as a criminal by the Shogunate. So I'm not all that different from Akihito mentioned in this story. Ah, 
By the way, you mentioned that your friend has been struggling because he's unable to sign his name quickly, right? In Liwe and Inazuma, there is a saying, that which has been stamped has also been signed. Perhaps using a seal could be a feasible solution. While sailing at sea, I sometimes carve things to pass the time. If you wish to create a stamp for his seal, I might be able to help. Interesting. The story of the five Kassen appears again, and with a timely solution. A stamped seal, huh? Hmm, let me think. Indeed, it is an efficient solution. If we use a stamp, then Xingxie won't have to struggle with his handwriting anymore. However... Since Xingxie's signature has been previously revealed to the readers, it would seem... Insincere if he only used the stamped seal for his new books. But I have another idea. Using a seal is a part of it, of course. Uh, let's go to Uya Restaurant now to discuss my idea with everyone. Yes, that's it, Chen Yi. Your writing has greatly improved today, which means yesterday's intensive training was effective. My apologies, but I simply can't do it anymore. My hands are so sore that I can't even move them anymore. Oh, I should have known better than to read novels during calligraphy class. You just had a ten minute break. Come on, you can do this. When it comes to pushing a deadline, there's no one more brutal than Mr. Hirayama. No wonder Lady Yai would always send the editorial director to handle troublesome authors. Whoa, this is getting scary. It hasn't even been that long and Shincho's already zombified. Mr. Hirayama, we found a solution that might just solve our dilemma. In both Li Yue and Inazuma, seals are widely used as the equivalents of a signature. If we use a stamp to leave the author's seal on the books, then we could make the signature process a lot easier. Of course, a seal on its own is not enough. So, I propose that each signature consists of two parts. First, we'll use a personalized seal. We can simply carve one using Chen Yu's signature as the design. In addition, I'll also design a simple but elegant pattern that's easy for Chen Yu to write. That way, he will only need to draw a simple pattern on each book. Hmm, let me think. All right, I think that would work. Not only does it still involve the author's own handwriting, but the result should be very beautiful as well. So, what you mean to say is, I've been saved from this predicament? Mr. Hirayama, it suddenly occurred to me that the reason we gave up on live book signings previously was because it would take too long for the author to sign each book. But if we adopted Kautz's proposed method, we might have enough time to do signatures at the live event. And if all the authors sign their books in the same fashion, then Gen Yu's signature wouldn't look out of place. Well, if you think it's feasible, 
I would certainly be happy to design signatures for the other authors as well. Yes, and you may leave carving the stamps to me. In that case, I shall contact the other two authors participating in the new release event. It is a great honor to use a signature designed by Celts. My pen name is quite complicated and isn't suitable for signing events. However, if we implement this new format, then it'll be a dream come true for me as well. Great! Looks like everyone's on board with the idea. I'm sorry to have kept you busy for so long, Jin Yi. Please, take the next few days to have a good rest. We'll handle everything from here. The books that Jin Yu already signed can be used as special prizes in future events held by the I Publishing House. <sighs> we did it! The event is saved! Thanks to everyone's efforts, Onodera and I are finally free of that mess. <laughs> That's right! You're finally free, Xingqiu! Maybe you should step outside for some fresh air! going to the festival venue to prepare the Ikebana lesson, when I found a strange piece of paper on a flower stand. This bar just happened to be close by at the time. He informed me that you've also found similar papers recently. As such, we came together to find you two. But the paper she found isn't quite the same as the ones we found before. Here's the paper. Please have a look. we found before were roughly the same length. But this one is only two lines! And even though there are only two short sentences, neither of them are next to the title or centered on the page. Hmm. The position of the writing seems to indicate that there is other content written on this paper besides these two lines. If we take the poem literally, it reads, Dip this paper in water, and see the truth naturally appear. Speaking of which, I have an ancient text at home, specializing in ancient and exotic stories. It mentions a special ink that will show itself when wet, and disappear when it's dry. So, shall we give it a whirl? It just so happens that there's a pond nearby. Water for you has magical powers to heal your body and soul. Uh, is there anything in the world that will satisfy my taste buds? What's the hurry? got the collection of poems from Akihito and put them into a stream of water, the plagiarized words in the poem became blurry. Huh? Why would that happen? You see, Paimon, in the past, when printing was not yet well developed, handwritten text could easily become smudged in books when exposed to moisture. To ensure the text lasted longer, They'd either write using a special ink, or coat the paper's surface with a waterproof coating once the writing was finished. Such special inks are time-consuming and laborious to produce, and the waterproof coating could also prove just as difficult. However, 
Since Akihito's poetry collection was an important gift to be presented to the Shogun, surely one of those two methods was used to protect it. But as for the plagiarized poems, not only would they lack Akihito's seal, but the words would also react differently when exposed to liquid. <sighs> Which means Akihito didn't plagiarize his work! He was set up! Yes, it appears that this is the truth that Sumizome's story is trying to convey. Although the story is saddening, I've decided on the subjects to use for Akihito and Sumizome's portraits. Kazuha, Ayaka, would you be willing to be the models for my paintings? I would be delighted. Yes, as would I. There you go. The next two portraits should be ready in no time. <sighs> yes. And now that all four stories have all been collected, the story of the five Kasin is now fully completed. Long ago, Inazuma had five legendary poets. People bestowed upon them the title of the five Kasin. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenchukaku and presented the Kasin's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion, Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. Akahito had once belonged to the Five Kasen. Each poem he composed, he marked with a scarlet red seal, hence the Aka in his name. Such a distinguished writer was he, and yet one of the poems he had submitted the previous year was found to be plagiarized. Akahito was exiled for his crimes, and only four of the five Kasen remained. Sumizome went over Akihito's poems and noticed that the plagiarized poem lacked his seal. She immersed his poetry in a stream nearby. And only on the plagiarized poem did the ink run. Aoi no Okina passed by and witnessed Sumizome's doing, which he then recorded in a poem. Thus transpired the events of Suiko's poetry submission, and this is where the story comes to an end. Come on. of the five Kasen, there's still one thing Paimon hasn't been able to figure out. One of the five Kasen is called Kurunushi, right? It's just that... How could the story of the five Kasen finish without him appearing at all? Oh! <laughs> oh have you really not noticed? Huh? Not noticed what? This is no time to be playing games, Tone Deaf Bard! What he means is that the story of Kuronushi was already embedded within the four poems. Huh? Really? That's right. The key lies in the poem that Aoi no Okina wrote after seeing Sumizome rinsing the poetry collection. An average person could never understand the scene of a young girl washing Akahito's poetry collection in a stream. Even Aoi no Okina couldn't figure out the meaning behind Sumizome's actions. He was simply reminiscing and thinking about his old acquaintances. However, for the perpetrator who framed Akahito, it was completely obvious. He was worried that if this poem was seen by the Shogun, then the Shogun could discover the truth behind the plagiarism incident, 
If that happened, then he'd be finished. So in desperation, he threatened Aoi no Okina to make him tear out this poem. Which means... The one who threatened Aoi no Okina is the same person that framed Akahito! What? Kuranushi? That's right. Though there are only four poems, they still manage to tell the complete story of all five Kasen. Since the Shogun mentioned in the poems is certainly not the one of the five Kasen, the only character left is the mysterious one with an unknown identity. Oh, okay. Paimon is finally starting to get it now. However, this also brings something else to mind. The story of the five Kasen has more or less reflected everything that's been happening around us lately. Which begs the question, is there a Kuronushi in our world as well? A Kuronushi? In our world? Hmm, speaking of which, I wonder if our dear Kazuha has come up with anything. Oh, right! Kazuha! He's been pretty quiet this whole time. Let's ask him! Hey, Kazuha! Are you okay? You've been standing in front of this blank canvas for a while, and you don't look so good. Apologies for making a wild assumption, but has the story of the five Kasen reminded you of anything? Yes. A few things did come to mind, actually. However, they were nothing more than some past incidents regarding my family. I don't mind sharing the stories, but I'd prefer not to bring you any more trouble. Hey, we're all friends here, Kazuha. You can always tell us whatever's on your mind. Kaidehara, please forgive my assumption, but perhaps you were thinking of the Raiden Gokuden? The Raiden Gokuden? What's that? It appears that Miss Kamisato and I were thinking of the same thing. But it also has much to do with the Yashiro Commission. It would be improper to speak of it here without the consent of Miss Kamisato. It's fine. Those of us here are all trustworthy, so there isn't any harm in it. However, this matter is somewhat complicated and may be difficult to explain. Let me start with a ride in Gokuden. <sighs> As you all know, the Yashiro Commission's primary purpose is managing ceremonial and cultural affairs, and Inazuma's art of forging swords is a very important part of our culture. The Raiden Gokuden were once the top five schools of the forging art in Inazuma. Although these families were swordsmiths by craft, they also held many important positions in the Yashiro Commission. Unfortunately, of the five, only the Amenoma art still maintains its artisan lineage, the descendants of the Ishin art are also still alive, but the craft has been lost to time. The descendants of the Ishin art are none other than the Kaidehara family. Whoa! We knew Kazuha came from a noble family, but we had no idea about his connection to the Yashiro Commission and sword making. Yes, but that's all part of the past now. The Ishin art was lost with my great-grandfather's generation. My grandfather was dissatisfied with my great-grandfather's lack of effort. When he was young, my grandfather traveled all over Tevat to find a way to revive the family business. But it was to no avail. And in my generation, our last remaining family property was lost as well. I heard my elder brother mention that the decline of the ride in Gokuden happened very rapidly. In the span of a few decades, Three of the family suffered various misfortunes and disappeared completely. Later, there was speculation that all of these misfortunes stemmed from some background machinations, meaning that someone wanted to wipe out the Raiden Gokuden. However, since not every family of the Raiden Gokuden came to ruin, such explanations were treated as nothing more than a conspiracy theory. Indeed. I've also believed such ideas were just theories and rumors. However, I know that a major incident happened to my great-grandfather when he was young. 
Not only did it affect the Kaedahara clan, but it nearly jeopardized the Kamisato clan's position in the Yashiro Commission as well. After reading the story of the five Kasen, I can't help but feel like it's pointing me toward the truth behind that incident. What exactly happened to your great-grandfather, Kazuha? I still can't say. I need to speak with someone to verify the details. Let's meet here again at noon tomorrow. I will tell you everything I know then.
Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. The Five Kossin Plaza is significantly less crowded now, but it's still too early to relax. This is a serious matter, and we must remain vigilant. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's you. Do you have something to report? Really? Good. The Tenryo Commission has a responsibility to ensure public order and security during the Iridori Festival. If anything comes up, come to me. Oh, you look really busy. Has something serious happened? Nothing serious, really. We've just received a lot of reports in the past few days over things like line cutting, reselling goods at inflated prices, even troublemakers hogging the photo board. All minor incidents, but it all adds up to create a lot of work for a lot of people. Still, I take the fact that so many people are turning to us for assistance as a sign that the Tenryo Commission is gradually regaining the people's trust. Shogun gave us orders to provide security at the Iridori Festival. This is a rare chance to change people's perception of the Tenryo Commission, so we cannot afford to slip up. Even if it's tiring work, we must rise to the challenge. Well, no matter how busy you are, at least you still found some time to come here and buy an almighty Shogun figurine, right? We want to buy one too! What do you mean, figurine? <clears throat> I'm just patrolling these parts. In fact, I was just about to leave. <laughs> no need to be shy. Actually, Miko told us that you got up super early this one time to make sure you could be the first in line to buy one of these figurines. <sighs> that Lady Gucci, how could she disclose... <sighs> Never mind. To be clear, I have no intention to hide that which I do out of reverence alone. But there is one thing you must be corrected on. Oh? What is it? That is not a figurine. It's a statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. Do I make myself clear? Almighty Naru... Narukami Ogo... This particular statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder, is a brand new addition. There will only be 300 available in this batch, and there is a limit of one per customer. Many people have been lining up since well before dawn to acquire one. I'm afraid if you're only showing up now, you're probably too late. Oh, really? So... so you definitely must have gotten here pretty early too then! Did you manage to get one yet? 
normally, of course, I would come to purchase one myself. But on this occasion, my duties at the Iridori Festival had to take priority. We are required to report for duty long before the shops open. It is regrettable, but I had no choice but to forego the chance this time. Aww, what a shame. So instead, I had someone purchase one on my behalf. Oh, right! Wait, you can do that? Didn't you say they're limited to one per customer? This figurine is super popular. It must be pretty tough to find someone happy to buy one for you and not for themselves. I anticipated the same at first, but Lady Gujiyae found a professional to assist me, saying she appreciated our tireless efforts during the festival period. I don't know who the professional is. I assume it would be either someone from the Grand Narukami Shrine or from the Yashiro Commission, but I did not ask. Given the time, I believe they should have completed the purchase by now. I am fortunate to have had Lady Guji's help this time. I likely would have struggled to find a candidate on my own. As well as being willing, they would need to be an early riser, and also tall enough to beat the crowds to the top shelf items. Early riser and tall. <laughs> What was that sound? Really? Well, never mind. I have been here long enough. It's time for me to head to my next patrol zone. Stay safe during the Iridori Festival. last night so I could buy a figurine. But after waiting and waiting, my eyes started to feel real droopy. And... I only meant to take a short nap. A really quick one. Oh, If I don't buy one of these figurines, the Tenryu Commission Tangle will lock me up for life. Goodness knows what Miko told you. I guess my only hope now is to sacrifice my salary for this month and buy one off of someone who got here in time. Really? Great! Then, here's my salary. Please don't spend it all. You didn't manage to get one either? That's strange. When I came to line up this morning, I checked with my friend who'd already bought one. She'd been lining up since before sunrise, and she was around the 100th in line. I was only 150 places behind her, so surely I should have gotten one. Hmm, something's wrong here. I'm gonna go ask the shopkeeper for an explanation. After coming all this way to Inazuma, and especially getting up early, I still walk away empty-handed. The first batch was smaller than I expected, and who knows when the next batch will come out. Well, since I'm here now, I guess I should buy some other souvenir instead. <laughs> Why so glum? Didn't manage to get your hands on a statue of her excellency, the almighty Narukami Gosho, God of Thunder, by any chance? Sell it? Huh. 
I ain't selling. Not after all the effort I put in to get a hold of this. Go ask someone else. I can't believe it. I am definitely done for this time. A whole load of people are saying they didn't manage to get one. Did the shopkeepers get the count wrong or something? Hmm. Oh, why don't we go ask at a Pekasu? Hmm. Might as well. I guess there's nothing to lose. So, what's the point of this story again? Terribly sorry. I was otherwise occupied this morning and had someone else watch the shop. So I don't know all the details, but according to our records, we did sell the full 300. Hey, what about those ones at the back? Aren't they for sale? I'm sorry, those are... Those are display only. Please don't be too disappointed. We're only selling a limited number of these statues at the festival, and this was only the first batch. Please rest assured, you will all have the chance to purchase one in the future. But when will the next batch be ready? Also, this poor guy came all the way from Mondstadt. He got here earlier than me and was at least 50 places ahead of me. Even he didn't get one. How do you explain these numbers? Look, I don't know a whole lot about Inazuman festivals, but they do seem to have sold out pretty quickly. I'm terribly sorry, but I've triple-checked the sales records for this morning, and everything seems to be accounted for. Hmm... Why don't we get the Tenryo Commission to investigate this? The... the Tenryo Commission? No, no way! Hmm? Sorry, who are you? Oh, are you saying this falls under the Yashiro Commission's jurisdiction? Um, um, yeah, it does. We will follow up on this matter, so... So there's no need to go to the Tenryu Commission. They're busy enough as it is. <laughs> uh, that's weird. How come Sayu's so motivated to work all of a sudden? Shh. If the Tenryu Commission finds out about this, Kujo Sarah will come ask me about it. And then, she'll find out that I didn't buy her figurine. And... Anyway, we can't get the Tenryo Commission involved, not unless there's no other way. Huh. Well, since someone's already on the case, I suppose I'll just wait for the findings. <sighs> since I came all this way and didn't get a figurine, I guess I might as well look at what else is available. Thank you both for your understanding. We will make an announcement as soon as the results of the investigation come out. But we don't have any leads at all. Oh, maybe the customers really did make a mistake with the count. If only we had a witness who'd been here the whole time. You mean me? Sorry, I was asleep. Did I hear anything? Uh, let me think. I'll take these, please. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Thank you, patronage. Oh yeah, now I remember. I heard thank you for your patronage over and over again this morning. Huh? How many times? 300? Uh, I mean, I... Um, 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 I got it. There were at least 16 snores between each. Thank you for your patronage. That's not how you count it. 16 snores should be about one minute. And if we add on the time for moving the boxes and stocking the shelves, mm... right. 
right. Sales only started about four hours ago, so there's definitely a problem with the amount. Which means, even though I only woke up just now, I still have a chance of getting my hands on one. Maybe. Well, anyway, maybe I failed my mission because a bad guy did something tricky, not because I was being lazy. So then, who's the bad guy? Hmm, well, the shop was pretty strict with this promotion. Not only was there a one per customer limit, they even checked people's identity. So there's no way anyone could have bought more than one. And with SARS people patrolling the area, no one could have cut the line, right? If someone was up to no good, they definitely try to find a way to sell the figurines at a higher price. Let's go ask the guy who says he had to put in a lot of effort to get a hold of one. Maybe he knows something. Huh? You want to know how I got my hands on the statue? <laughs> Dream on. trying to buy yours off you it's a no okay no more questions huh how come how how did you know huh oh oh right yeah we are professionals okay fine since you guessed it anyway but let me be clear don't spread this around I came here bright and early to line up, but the first batch of statues sold out almost immediately. I wasn't very happy about that, so I went around to the back door of a Pegasus to see if I could find a shop assistant to ask about when the next batch would be coming out. To my surprise, I saw him moving boxes and boxes worth of statues out of the store. Needless to say, I was all ready to march up and demand to know what was going on. But... Well... Uh, yes, uh, but I paid the shop assistant full price for it, so it was still a legitimate transaction. It's not for you to decide whether it was a legitimate transaction or not. Huh? It's... the Tenryo Commission? The Tenryo Commission has received reports that someone has been hoarding goods to resell at extortionate prices. Now, these are not classed as strategic materials, so some amount of price fluctuation is expected in the market. However, it is against the law for a staff member to abuse their position to forge sales records and misappropriate goods. We have already investigated the situation at a pay kasu. The sales records are correct, but in the cash box, there are two bags in which most of the cash has been replaced with stones. But... But how can this be? Please hand over your statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, as evidence. We will compensate you for your loss once we catch the individual responsible. Ah, uh, fine. So this guy was cooking the books. Never saw that coming. You guys figured this out pretty quickly, Sara. In fact, we were only just tipped off. We're still working on the logistics of the arrest operation. Hmm? Who's this? Yikes! I've been spotted! Oh, you must be the professional Lady Guji hired. I was just wondering why I hadn't seen you yet. Um, we... we were... investigating the missing figurines. Oh, I mean, statues of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Okosho, God of Thunder. Is that so? Then thank you. The Tenryo Commission will take over from here. Rest assured, we will get to the bottom of the matter. Uh... Hmm? Um, um... So, uh, about your statue... Really? Thank you. 
So, where is the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Sayu spent the whole night investigating the staff. So, by the time she got back, she was just too late to buy one. Yeah, right. I definitely would have made it back in time to buy one, if only it hadn't been for someone stealing the statues. I see. So in the end, you did not manage to purchase a statue, correct? Uh... uh <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself. The criminal is the one responsible here. The important thing now is to devise a plan to bring him to justice as swiftly as possible. Mm -hmm. According to the intelligence, the suspect has already started reselling the statues near the festival venue. But he is lying low and operating very discreetly. If we confront him head on, he's likely to destroy the evidence and dash. Instead, we will seek to quietly surround him. But in order to achieve this, we will require one person to approach and distract him. Since you've spent the whole night thoroughly investigating this situation, I can think of no one else more suitable to gain his trust than you. Would you be willing to help the Tenryo Commission one final time? What? Uh, <laughs> right. Leave it to us. <laughs> Who introduced you? I'm trying to keep a low profile here, so I'm afraid I don't take any new business except for referrals by existing customers. That guy. Fine. He did technically buy from me, I suppose. But let me be clear. This product is highly sought after right now. I can't sell to you at the same price he paid. Well, you can take it or leave it. Believe me, there's plenty more room for upwards mobility on the price. It just so happens to be in my interest to get these off my hands sooner rather than later. Besides, <laughs> good luck trying to find anyone else out there selling. Hmm, we gotta keep negotiating as long as we can. <sighs> I don't have time for this. Just name your price. Hey, at that price, why don't you just ask me to give it to you for free? Ugh, fine, fine. I swear, if I wasn't in a rush to get rid of him... Ugh. Hold on! I... I might think there's still some room for negotiation. What's to negotiate? Do you want it or not? You think this is a game or something? If you're not serious about buying, quit wasting my time. I should be moving on to my next location by now, not stuck here arguing with you. The next location you move to will be the police station. You are under arrest for abusing your position for personal gain and falsifying accounts. Do not attempt to resist. The evidence is indisputable. The Tenryo Commission? When did you... Wait, all that negotiating... <laughs> Thank you for your help. The culprit has revealed the location where he stashed the statues, and we have sent people to collect them. Great! So once Epekusu has counted the goods and stuffed the shelves, we can get back in the line to buy one, right? This time, I must complete my mission. 
I'm afraid it's not that simple. The stolen goods will have to be kept as evidence at the police station for some time. They will not be available for purchase in the immediate future. Paimon can't believe it! I would be grateful if you could inform the shopkeeper about this. I should return to the station and see how things are going. Don't you think? Oh, is there really nothing we can do? I see. Thank you. We'll make a compensation plan and announce it as soon as possible. Wait. Hold on. Although this... Statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, was only intended as a display item. Now that I think about it, why don't you have it, as a gesture of my gratitude? After all, it was our negligence that caused trouble for you all on this occasion. This is just a small gift, a mere token, but I do hope you can accept it. <laughs> really? Sounds good. As long as we give this to Sara, my mission will be completed. Uh-oh... I've been so nervous all day, and now I can finally relax. I feel really tired all of a sudden. Please, take this figurine to the police station. <sighs> Sayu, signing out. What's the hurry? This is a prototype designed by Yae Publishing House's top artist and crafted by the most skilled lacquerware master in Inazuma City. Otherwise, how could one hope to capture even one thousandth of the Almighty Shogun's majesty? Let alone maintain it. To do that, you must buy a special kind of shrine and worship it properly. It's also essential to clean it often, to avoid a buildup of dust, and it's best practice to hire a craftsman to perform regular maintenance. Sarah! Sarah! Hmm? What's wrong? These are the five principles for maintenance of the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder, and I haven't even finished explaining the first one. I never knew there was such a fuss over these tiny figurines. <laughs> I'm surprised Miko never mentioned it to me. Y Your Excellency, this is most unexpected. I had some spare time, so I decided to come out for a stroll. Oh, did you buy this figurine yourself? I... it's... it was... It was him. Hey, what? Huh. I didn't know you liked little trinkets like these. Your Excellency, I've yet to finish the defense arrangements for the Iridori Festival. Please excuse me. Very well. Thank you. Watching Sara leave, she looked kind of sad. I have another such figurine in Tenshukaku. A sample sent by Yai Publishing House. I don't need it, so I think I'll gift it to you. I shall not go back on my word. I have committed to giving it to you. What you choose to do with it is your business. 
You're quite free to give it to somebody else, if you wish. Or, to save you the trouble, I can have someone from Tenshukaku deliver it directly. But, of course, your name will have to be written as the sender. <sighs> Why does all this have to be so complicated? <clears throat> Good. I'll have someone attend to this shortly. Oh, and I wish you a pleasant and enjoyable Irodori Festival. My lucky day! 
Illusion shattered! What's the hurry?
dodge this! What's the hurry? Dodge this! Adventure time! Yeah. 
me a lesson. Watch your step. Allow me to strike first!
When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe.
Try my Ah, you're here. It appears everyone has arrived. Last night, I visited a former servant who once worked for my family. I was able to learn the entirety of what happened all those years ago. In my great-grandfather's generation, the Ishin art was tasked with forging an important Goshinto according to an ancient forging diagram. Though all the craftsmen involved were very experienced, the process was still unsuccessful. Every blade that was forged was defective. When the deadline came, the blade still wasn't finished, so the craftsmen all fled and hid for fear of punishment. The Kaidahara clan and Yashiro commission then conducted an investigation. My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan eventually tracked down the craftsmen near the seaside. However, they met fierce resistance from the craftsmen, and in the end they were unable to prevent them from escaping by sea. The Kaidahara clan was severely punished for the swordsmiths that had escaped, and the family gradually fell into decline. Moreover, I heard that the head of the Kamisato clan was injured by the fleeing swordsmiths, which combined with his advanced age caused him to pass away shortly thereafter. Yes. The sudden passing of the family head left the Kamisato clan leaderless. 
treacherous people took advantage of the situation and put the family status in the Yashiro Commission at jeopardy. This single incident had profound effects. Even after the position as head of the clan was passed to my father, the Kamisato clan still wasn't able to regain its prior reputation. But, thanks to my brother, everything is getting better now. The failure to forge the blade was ultimately attributed to a lack of required skill and finesse. The Kaidahara clan and the Yashiro Commission always believed that was the case. However, the story of the five Kasen seems to imply that the failure didn't stem from a lack of skill, but rather, the diagram had been tampered with by someone. Miss Kamisato, I heard yesterday that the Yashiro Commission has still kept the diagram ever since the failed forging all those years ago. Might I ask you to do me a favor? Yes, I understand. I will go back and search for the diagram. Please come meet me at the Kamisato estate later. managed to find the old diagram. Hmm. Though the diagram is well preserved, you can still tell that it's seen at least three or four centuries of history. Oh, that's pretty old. Is it still possible to find any evidence of tampering? At this point, we can only try our luck and see how we fare. Although the effect is not too obvious, you can still see that some words have now started to smudge. Kazuha, this is clear evidence that this chart was indeed tampered with. Someone framed the Kaedehara clan all those years ago. I see. But I fear that I've discovered this secret too late. When my grandfather was young, he proposed reviving the Ishin art many times to my great-grandfather. But my grandfather was only scolded for being too foolhardy. Yesterday, the former family servant said that my great-grandfather even went to the Yashiro Commission to request that diagram from the head of the Kamisato clan. He then showed that diagram to my grandfather and asked him and his subordinates to try to forge the sword. Sure enough, my grandfather also failed. My great-grandfather then told him, If you can't find the secret within then the Ishin art deserves to fade from the world. My grandfather left Inazuma in a rage after hearing those words. He didn't ever see my great-grandfather again, even till the day of his passing. Looking back at it now, the argument between the two of them was simply... meaningless. Oh, Kazuha... I heard that your great-grandfather was very industrious when he was young, but later in life, he no longer bothered with the forging arts. It appears that his failure took quite a toll on him. Kazuha, did your great-grandfather really say, if you can't find the secret within? Did he use those exact words? Yes. The servant said that he personally heard those words, and still remembers them very clearly. My grandfather was so angry at the time that he smashed my great-grandfather's cherished bonsai tree.
Yes, it appears that you understand my meaning. Kazuha, if your great-grandfather thought that the Ishin art lacked finesse, then after witnessing his son's failure, wouldn't he have said something more along the lines of, your skills aren't sufficient? But instead he said, if you can't find the secret within, don't you find that a little strange? Huh? Oh, so you're saying... My great-grandfather may have very well known that the failure was due to someone's tampering? Yes. The current evidence suggests that is highly likely. I apologize, but would you all please accompany me to the Tenryo Commission? After I became a wanted criminal, the Tenryo Commission seized my family's last remaining estate, which contained all of my family's old belongings. I want to inquire about the whereabouts of those belongings. If I can find them, we might be able to get some clues. All right, let's get moving. What are you all doing here? Did something happen on Rito? Kujo Sara. Perhaps you still remember me. Yes, I do. You're Kaedehara Kazuha, a wanted criminal during the Vision Hunt decree. However, your arrest warrant has since been repealed. Sara, we'd like to ask about the Kaedehara clan's property that was seized by the Tenryo Commission. Do you know where all their belongings are now? Yes. The items seized at that time are currently stored in the warehouse next to the police station. Since Kaedehara has come back to Inazuma, those items should be returned to their rightful owner. No, I'm afraid you misunderstand. I'm not here to reclaim those belongings. I just want to investigate them for a personal matter. I see. All right, I'll inform the police station. They'll take you into the warehouse. Thank you, Sara! <clears throat> Kaedehara, about the Vision Hunt Decree. That's all in the past now, Kujo Sara. There's no need to mention it again. I know you've also had your own convictions and struggles. <clears throat> However, may I ask something of you? Yes, what is it? Currently, I have no plans to stay in Inazuma. As a result, those items from my family's estate are of no use to me. Madam Kujo, I believe you are a person of integrity. After our investigation is over, I'd like to ask if you can handle those belongings for me. Please, sell them, and use the money to help the poor. All right, I understand. I'll be sure to take care of it. This is the headquarters. Time to go. Ah, you must be here to investigate the Kaedahara clan's belongings. Well, Madam Kujo's already informed me of the situation. Please, come this way.
Ah, the Kaedahara clan's belongings are stored in this warehouse. Unfortunately, the items are scattered throughout in order to save space. My deepest apologies. However, I have clearly marked the corresponding items, so they shouldn't be too difficult to find. I'll be waiting for you at the door. Please, come see me if you require any assistance. Kazuha, since the items are scattered throughout the building, I propose we split up and look for clues. Yes, sounds like a plan. Thanks for your help, everyone. Oh, it's you. I'm currently investigating the sword rack. Oh, since the Kaidahara clan was a family of renowned swordsmiths, then this blade should be super valuable, right? <gasps> Maybe it's a treasure of the Ishin art! I'm afraid not. Although the sword rack is made of fine wood, the swords placed here appear to be quite ordinary. Due to the dire financial situation of the late Kaidahara clan, Everything of value has probably been sold off already. The blade on the sword hasn't been sharpened, but there are many signs of use on the hilt. Perhaps Kaidehara used it for training as a child. Let Paimon see! Oh, there seems to be a couple uneven characters etched into the scabbard. Kazu... Ha. Wow, so it really was Kazuha's! Paimon can imagine what Kazuha was like as a kid. <laughs> I will continue investigating here and call you if I find anything interesting. What did you find, Shinkyo? I found quite the pile of old books. These books here are all related to smelting steel, and these are about the process of forging blades. This pile over here is all about plants and flowers. Hmm. The books about plants and flowers must have belonged to Kazuha's great-grandfather. I skimmed through them just now, but I didn't find anything particularly worth noting. I shall take a closer look and let you know if I find anything. Oh, it's you. Unfortunately, I have yet to find anything of value here. Whoa, this folding screen looks pretty old, though. Yes, perhaps if it were better maintained, then it could fetch a decent price. However, I doubt it could be sold in its current condition. I was taking a closer look just now and noticed a large piece of dirt caught in the fabric fibers on the back side. The soil is deeply embedded into the cloth. That means a great deal of force was used when the dirt was lodged into the cloth. It's likely that this patch of dirt is from the very flower pot thrown by Kazuha's grandfather. Because this is not what we are looking for now. Let me think. If I wanted to leave a message behind, I would probably choose to leave it on something a little more special. Huh. Albedo seems to be thinking pretty hard. We better not bother him. Hmm. There must be some around here somewhere. Do you see all these pots here? Some of them are bound to have liquor inside, <laughs> right? Hey! Everyone else is trying hard to help, and you're over here looking for a drink! <laughs> I merely jest, of course. Come on, we're close to uncovering the truth now. Why do you look so worried? Well, Paimon doesn't really get why Kazuha told Sara to sell all these belongings. What if we don't end up finding anything today? Then wouldn't Kazuha lose the chance of finding out what really happened all those years ago? You know, just saying. I know you are worried about Kazuha, but if you ask me, he is stronger than you think. Since Kazuha made such a request to Sara, that indicates he's already made his choice. Whether we find out the truth or not today, or whatever it turns out to be, he's ready to accept it. 
No, not intuition. Rather, I've lived for a long time now, so you could say I have some experience in reading people. Leave the things here to me. You two can look around elsewhere. Everyone, I've found something that you should all have a look at. Oh, seems Kazuha discovered something. Let's go see what he's got. This flower pot was in my house for a long time. I heard that it was left behind by my great-grandfather. Yeah, the plants seem to have been dead for a while now. Well, after my great-grandfather stopped studying the forging arts, he picked up the hobby of keeping bonsai plants. Most of his prized plants were given to others once he became seriously ill. But he specifically left behind this dead plant at the time and even instructed my grandfather not to throw it away in his will. My grandfather deeply regretted that he never managed to reconcile with my great-grandfather, so he left the plant exactly as it was. But now that I think about it, my great-grandfather could very well have left it behind for other reasons. Hmm, now that you mention it, this flower pot is kinda suspicious. Yes. Let's take a closer look, shall we? We finally found something! Uh, huh? It's only a bunch of blank paper. Do you think someone already discovered the compartment and swapped the contents? No, I do not think that is the case here. See the paper? It's quite yellowed, which means it's very old. Hmm. You mean to say that these sheets have been written with special ink? Like that which Miss Kamisato found before? Yes, I agree with this hypothesis. Okay, let's give it a dunk then! There is a pond outside the police station. I'll use the water there. Just plain old sheets of paper, were they? Just as everyone guessed, after I sprinkled some water onto the paper, writing did indeed begin to appear on it. It is a letter, written by my great-grandfather. Oh? What does the letter say? It is. I'll tell you what my great-grandfather knew at the time, but before that, I wish to take you somewhere. Everyone, please follow me. Why did you lead us to this beach? It is. In fact, my great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan tracked the fleeing swordsmiths to this very location. Our hypothesis was correct. My great-grandfather was well aware of the truth behind the defective blades. And it was right here where they encountered the culprit who framed the Kaidahara clan and the Raiden Gokaden. It reads, To whoever reads this letter, I, Kaidahara Yoshinori, have been held to a certain secret throughout my entire life. I don't have much longer in this world, 
and after much consideration, I finally decided to disclose the matter. All those years ago, when I was pursuing the swordsmiths alongside Commissioner Kamisato of the Yashiro Commission, I was not injured by one of the fleeing smiths. Rather, it was night, and after the clues led us down to shore, I waited for the culprits to show themselves. However, there were no swordsmiths in sight, only a single eccentric stranger. This stranger claimed to be the one behind the failed forgings and said that he had been patiently waiting for us. He then threatened to destroy the ride in Gokuden. That person was of able body, and in a blink of an eye, myself and the accompanying samurai had been defeated. Commissioner Kamisato was severely wounded, and I barely escaped death myself. My hat had fortunately blunted a blow to my head. The unusual stranger could have easily claimed my life at that moment. But, after noticing my appearance, he stopped his attacks and sternly asked if I had any connection with the name Niwa. I answered that it was my father's surname, and after my father disappeared, I was adopted by the Kayadahara family. Upon hearing my answer, the stranger paused. After a long silence, he suddenly said, Tell her this. My name is Kunikuzushi. He then turned and left. What really happened? Yes. My great grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan escaped from death and learned that the forging diagram had been tampered with by Kuni Kazushi. However, due to the encounter, the head of the Kamisato clan was worried that my great grandfather would be falsely accused of being involved with the perpetrator. So even on his deathbed, the master of the Kamisato clan cautioned my great-grandfather to never speak of what happened. Because the perpetrator said he would destroy the Raiden Gokaden, my great-grandfather worried that the perpetrator would still return for vengeance. So, to protect his loved ones, he closed the family business. He said, as the leader of the Kaidahara clan, I am deeply ashamed to witness the decline of the Ishin art. But as a father, it is my priority to ensure the safety of my children and grandchildren. Yes, that's right. If my grandpa had somehow discovered the secret behind the tampered diagram all those years ago, perhaps my great-grandfather would have told him the truth. Unfortunately, he failed to catch any of the hints in my great-grandfather's words. Miss Kamisato, it appears you were unaware of the happenings that my great-grandfather described here. What are your thoughts? Hmm... I suppose the reason the head of the Kamisato house never spoke of this to the family was due to similar safety concerns. If the perpetrator was capable of tampering with even the Shogun's diagrams, and could single-handedly defeat many men, then he is not an ordinary enemy. I will discuss this matter with brother shortly, and investigate the identity behind the one called Kuni Kuzushi. Rest assured, we will act cautiously. To be honest, as I read the letter, I felt much turbulence in my heart. But now I've managed to calm myself. My great-grandfather said in the letter that he did not wish his descendants to blindly seek revenge and be deceived by things of the past. Though he was in a tight situation when he wrote these words, I feel like they are still valid nonetheless. I think what's most important for each person is not the past, but the present. Even though we must carry the burdens from the past, there are also things we wish to strive for. Therefore, knowing the truth behind what happened is enough for me. I will live on just as my great-grandfather had hoped. That being said, 
If the enemy from all those years ago is still lurking and plotting to stir up more trouble, then I definitely won't turn a blind eye. These are simply insights I've gathered from all that I've experienced. Thank you all for accompanying me in my search for the truth behind that incident. Great! Now that we're done here, let's head back to Rito. ceremony will be starting shortly. You'll see what it looks like then. I will say that I'm most satisfied with this particular work. I even made a special trip to see someone in order to complete it. They gave me some very valuable suggestions. <laughs> is that so? Anyway, there is still time before the ceremony. You may have a look around the venue first. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you. Indeed it did. Thanks to you, the signing event went off without a hitch. And I must say, the readers seem most satisfied. Uh, Shinto, is that just Paimon or are you on the lookout for something? You aren't mistaken, though I'm ashamed to admit it. But in fact, I have been on the watch for tourists from Liyue. After all, I came to Inazuma under the pretext of evaluating a potential investment. If an acquaintance were to see me sitting here, then there would be no way to hide the truth from my father. Fortunately, the crowds of readers that came flocking over have kept the usual tourists at bay. Oh, I should mention, Shu is also unaware of the real purpose of my trip. If you happen to meet him, please, remember to keep it a secret. Then... Please accept my thanks in advance. I'm sorry that I can't chat long. There are still readers waiting in line. I'll see you later at the unveiling ceremony for Kuronushi's portrait. Ah, greetings, Traveler. Paimon. Oh, Ayato! We finally get to see the busiest person of all! Yes, there were many things which required my attention these past few days. Fortunately, the Iridori Festival is proceeding smoothly. The Tri Commission cooperated closely to prepare this festival, so at long last, I can take a break today. Brother and I are very grateful for your help. Hmm. Thomas sure is taking his sweet time. Yes. Today is one of the rare occasions when Brother isn't busy. I was going to buy some books, but he said he wanted to come along. His treat. However, he forgot his wallet at home, so he asked Toma to go back and fetch it for him. Paimon didn't think Ayato could ever be forgetful like that. <laughs> Brother always works diligently, and it's rare for him to ever put his duties to the side and relax. So, Toma and I really cherish such moments when he's forgetful. Maybe 
Please, get in line over here. Well, hello everyone. Hey! What are you two doing together? Don't think we didn't see you two chatting up a storm just now. The moment we came over, you stopped talking! Hmm, is that so? I'm afraid you're just overthinking things. We were merely discussing wine and food. <laughs> I'm sure you two wouldn't be interested. <clears throat> Speaking of good sides with sake, I personally prefer fried tofu. Ugh, forget it. Even if those two are plotting something, they'd still never let us know. came here to take in the sea breeze. Such a bustling atmosphere is never really to my liking. <laughs> I knew you were still worried about me. Thank you, but please, don't worry. The things I said in front of everyone weren't just pretty sounding excuses. Look, see this familiar harbor in front of us? Before, you could sit here all day without seeing a single ship pass through. Instead, all you would see were soldiers from the Kanjo Commission, guarding against possible intruders. But now, it's become a bustling place. Not only are foreigners coming to Inazuma again, but traffic between here and Watatsumi Island has also been picking up. Yeah, Inazuma's already started to change, huh? I was thinking... In some ways, each and every one of us are similar to this country. It might take a different amount of time for different people, but there will inevitably come a day when each person can let go of their burdens. And when they finally let go, they are free to follow the wind as they please. It's time for the portraits and veiling ceremony. To the five costume plaza. Time to go. Our crowdsourcing competition is now underway. Take part and win prizes. Everyone, welcome to the magnificent Iridori Festival. Today, we have ushered in the final stage of our festival. And now we will reveal the final portrait of the Five Kasen, Kuronushi, which was done by none other than our guest artist from Mondstadt, Calx. Hyman has no idea what Albedo's portrait looks like. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Let's all count down together. Three, two, one... Huh? What's this? This piece depicts nothing but a background! I suppose Calx must have forgotten to include the character. <laughs> uh, let's hear some words from Calx himself regarding the creative process behind this piece. Hello, everyone. First, I would like to say that it was an honor to be invited to create the portraits of the Five Kasen. The Five Kasen are legendary figures from ancient Inazuma, famous for their works of poetry. As time passed, poems were composed about them, and they became the subjects of many stories. I learned from existing sources about those stories that the character of Kuronushi is the deepest and most differing of the five Kasen. Moreover, 
Kuronushi lacks a dedicated chapter among the stories. It's as if he is a behind-the-scenes role of the Five Kasen. Perhaps we can assume that every creator had a different understanding of Kuronushi. So, in the same way, I also wanted to leave this character to everyone's own imagination. After all, the Iridori Festival is a place for everyone to express their minds through creative works. Yep, that's all beautiful for ya. His super logical explanation is sure to win everyone's approval. Well, it seems that our adventures at the Iridori Festival have come to a close. <laughs> huh? But what are you talking about? Oh. Oh, right! We still haven't figured out who left those stories of the five Kasim for us to find. Really? Come on then, who is it? Tell Paimon! Well, that makes sense. Otherwise, there'd be no way to give the right paper to the right person every time. Right. Even though they were using stories to hint us toward Shincho's troubles, the real goal was to lead us to solve the secrets of the Kaidahara clan. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Well, at least Paimon thinks she knows. Let's go! We'll get to the bottom of this. The one who left the stories of the five Kasan. <laughs> I'm afraid you guessed wrong, Paimon. It wasn't me. Huh? Really? Oh, Paimon thought for sure you'd be the sneaky and tricky one. <laughs> but seeing as you stumbled upon me, you aren't far from finding that person now. Because other than me, there's only one person left. To be honest, I am very grateful to the one who left those stories for us to find. This journey allowed me to uncover the truth behind my family. And I am also very fortunate to have you to accompany me and find the answers. As it just so happens, one of the reasons I'm here today is to explain the details behind this wild hunt. Huh. Paimon wants to see how you'll explain yourself out of this one. First of all, the start of this whole incident was due to mere happenstance. You see, Lady Yai happened to catch sight of Xingqiu and the editor carrying the books away one night. She thought it was interesting, so she asked me to tease them a bit. That's right. But using the story of the Five Kasen to guide you to the Kaidahara family's secrets was my personal touch. As for my roundabout approach, well, that was something which I had no choice but to do. Yes. Due to a certain incident that occurred earlier, I happened to notice the bonsai plants left behind by Kaedehara Yoshinori, as well as the blank papers hidden inside. I knew there was more than meets the eye regarding those papers, but it took me some time to figure out the secret behind the ink, the kind that would only appear when exposed to water. What Kaedehara Yoshinori said in the letter is very important for both the Kamisato clan and the descendants of the Kaedehara clan, especially Kazuha. The Kaedehara clan used to be subordinates of the Kamisato clan. It was my ancestors who were unable to protect them all those years ago. So, now, this obligation fell on my shoulders. Although he has the right to know the truth, the closer he draws to things hidden out of sight, the closer he also draws to danger. 
I had to confirm whether Kazuha has both the will and ability to be privy to the truth. Of course, I could outright tell him the truth that I had discovered, but maybe he doesn't have the will that's required. In that case, the truth would only become a burden to him. If he lacks the ability, then he wouldn't be able to find the truth in the first place. In which case, it would be better to keep him away from danger altogether. Kaidehara Yoshinori left his message in a roundabout way precisely for this reason. For a long time, I yearned for a suitable opportunity to convey this matter, right up until the night when a legend of sword was smuggled away. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Yeah, it wasn't only Kazuha. You brought all of the rest of us into this plan of yours. <laughs> I figured you would ask this question eventually. I merely saw that this matter would be of value to you. And more importantly, I hoped that while Kazuha and Ayaka were looking for the answers together, they would have some reliable friends by their side. Reliable friends who would be willing to protect them and make measured decisions. Friends who would spare no effort to lend a helping hand in times of trouble because it is also very likely that you will face the same enemy together in the future. You already know the answer deep down inside, don't you? The answer is actually hidden in the portrait of Kuronushi. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. us to splash water on the portrait, right? <gasps> it's... it's the Balladeer! So he was the one behind the trouble all those years ago! When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Also, there's one last thing that we must discuss. I mentioned earlier that the occurrence of a certain incident made me notice the bonsai plants. I wish to tell you of that incident now. It was just after the Shogun announced the abolition of the Sokoku Decree. I heard that something had happened at the Tenryo Commission. They had discovered signs that someone had entered the warehouse storing the Commission's articles of evidence and confiscated items. But nothing was stolen. I felt something unusual about that incident, so I told Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission to treat it as if nothing happened. She was not to increase the guard or relocate the warehouse contents. In the meantime, I sent a member of the Shumatsuban to keep watch over the warehouse. And sure enough, someone was sneaking in and rummaging through the belongings of the Kaidahara clan. You mean... he was also looking for... <laughs> I let him search for a while, but in the end, he found nothing. Soon after, he had to leave Inazuma by boat. The best way to protect a secret is to treat it as if it doesn't exist, is it not? Besides, the identity of this person is not hard to guess. After he left Inazuma, I carefully checked the Kaidahara clan's belongings one by one, and eventually discovered the papers in the hidden compartment of the flower pot. I am certain that the papers are the secret which the infiltrator sought to find, though he couldn't confirm whether this secret existed at all. So, now on to my final question. 
Which part of Kaidahara Yoshinori's experiences was the secret that needed to be protected? <laughs> I don't have an answer to this question at present, so I'll leave it to your future self. As for now, please, enjoy yourselves at the Iridori Festival. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Representing Watatsumi Island's administration, we were invited as individuals. Things are quiet in Watatsumi Island at the moment, and I wanted to buy some books. So I decided to make the trip here. Goro was not greatly interested in the Irodori Festival, but he said if I was going to Rito, he would join me. Her Excellency is traveling outside of Watatsumi Island and also meeting her pen pal today. As her general, it is my duty to ensure her safety at every turn. Pen pal? Yes, we started corresponding just recently. My pen pal and I share very similar tastes in light novels, and we always have a lot of interesting thoughts to share. Of course, there are also times when we fiercely disagree. Since we were both coming to the Irodori Festival this time, we decided to take the opportunity to hold a book review session and discuss our views on various novels in more depth. Sounds pretty professional! Hey, since you both like novels, why don't we try writing one together? Who knows, maybe you'll shake things up on the Inazuman literary scene! <laughs> That's a very interesting idea. It's almost time. Goro and I must go to meet my pen pal at the agreed upon location. Kokumi, Paimon's super curious about this pen pal of yours. Can Paimon come with you? Don't worry, Paimon will just watch from a distance and won't interrupt anything. Hmm, let me think. Yes, I think it should be fine for you two to come with me. All right, let's go together.
Time to go. This is the meeting spot. Huh, there's no one else around. It looks like we're early. My, my. Who have we here? of the Grand Narukami Shrine. No wonder. I was just wondering where that air of superiority was coming from. <laughs> if it isn't the leader of Watatsumi Island, who looks as soft as a jellyfish, but whose words sting like one too. Uh-oh! This is getting out of control fast! Hello. Nice to meet you, fried tofu with all the frills. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, soul of the deep. are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm simply here for the book review session with Miss Soul of the Deep. Let's go. The venue for this meeting is in the Kanjo Commission headquarters up there. The view is excellent, making it a perfect place to drink tea and discuss creative ideas. Hold the book review in the Kanjo Commission! You seriously expect anyone to believe that? Here to talk about shaking up the Inazuma literary scene? You're here to talk about shaking up things in Inazuma as a whole! <laughs> Watatsumi Island will soon hold formal talks with the Shogunate on Inazuma's future development. It's essential to have an informal meeting like this one before the formal talks begin. Right, especially with someone outside of the Shogunate like myself who is in a good position to test out where each party draws the lines. But this is just our first meeting. It's a little too early to announce it to the general public. Huh. Okay then. By the way, where is your general? Didn't you say he would be joining you? Huh. That's right. Where did Goro go? Goro went to buy some books for me. He won't be attending the book review. Oh, what a pity. I was rather looking forward to seeing his fluffy ears again. Traveler, uh, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Getting the sense that Goro does not like having to deal with Gujiai. So I was initially reluctant to bring him to Rita with me this time. I noticed he instinctively hid as soon as he saw her just now. However, Goro has a strong sense of responsibility and will feel ashamed when he next sees me. So I would like to give him the task of buying some books for me to make things easier for him. But Goro rarely buys anything. So, as a favor from me, I'd like to ask you to accompany him. Kokumi, you focus on the meeting with Miko. Leave the books to us and Goro. Thank you. I made a list of the books I'd like to buy. Please, pass it on to Goro. Ha! 
Oh, 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 it's you. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting you know who to show up. Oh, it, it completely caught me by surprise. I had no idea what to say to her. Next thing I knew, I'd apparently already taken cover. I came here to ensure the safety of Her Excellency, but now I'm useless. I've become a burden instead. Goro, don't be so hard on yourself. Actually, Kokumi asked us to give you a very important task. Oh, Her Excellency's purchase list. Got it. This is how Her Excellency wants me to make up for my mistakes. No problem. Just leave it to me. Goro, let us come with you. We can chill you around the Iridori Festival while we're at it. Oh, thank you so much. There is a children's storybook on this list called Night at Mount Yogo. I think this is the stand where it's being sold. A children's storybook? Yes, it's for the children of Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency says that this book is simply written and very useful for learning new words. Hello, I'll take uh, five copies of Night at Mount Yogo, please. Thank you for your patronage. Wow, you're a lucky customer. There's a coupon in one of the books you just bought, which entitles you to a free gift. Wow, Goro got a free gift! That's amazing! Here you go. A toy fox. It's all yours. What? Uh, <clears throat> a toy fox? Are you okay? The hair on your tail is standing on end. I'm fine. Thanks for the gift. Could you maybe uh, l l look after the toy for me? Yes. Uh, as a thank you gift for coming with me to buy the books. Uh, seems like Goro still hasn't recovered from seeing Nico. Okay, uh, next up... Uh, this isn't the focus of this trip, but let's go buy a light novel. It says on the list that Her Excellency had an editor called Onodera purchase the latest issue of A Legend of Sword for her in advance. Well, we'd better not keep him waiting too long. Oh, we know him! We'll lead the way! Excuse me, are you Mr. Onodera? I'm here to pick up the new issue of A Legend of Sword for Soul of the Deep. Hello there, yes, I have the book right here. I heard Soul of the Deep is the VIP of the Iridori Festival, but I couldn't make it here in time for the signing event due to the shipping schedule. Oh, uh, also, if you have these books available, uh, please give me one of each. Thank you. All right, let me see. Oh my goodness, it's your lucky day today, sir. You are the hundredth reader to buy the saga Hamavarin. That entitles you to receive a special edition version with a review personally written by Lady Yai herself. Whoa. Are you serious? Are you okay? You don't look very well. I, I'm fine. Thank you for the books. Her ex- <clears throat> uh, Soul of the Deep asked me to buy this book after all. I'm sure she'll be very happy to receive a special version with the chief editor's review. 
<laughs> Goro does not look like he's enjoying this at all. Paimon doesn't know if he's lucky or unlucky. Oh, one other thing. Because of the amount of your purchase, you're able to enter the Yai Publishing House's lucky draw. Please come with me, right this way. Sir, please take your lucky draw whenever you are ready. Just turn the handle and a prize ball will come out. Maybe today is your lucky day. Come on, Goro, go for it. Let me see. Wow, incredible! You got the golden ball! That's the grand prize! Goro! You're a lucky dog today! So what is the grand prize anyway? The grand prize is a full collection of each light novel published by Yai Publishing House. Not only is the prize awarded personally by Lady Yai, but you will also have the chance to shake hands and take a photo with her to commemorate the occasion. What? Not only do I have to meet her, but I have to shake her hand and take a photo with her too? What? This guy won the Yai Publishing House's grand prize? Wow, that's so lucky! An entire set of all their light novels. That's worth a lot of money. Ah, uh, um... Excuse me, ma'am. Could we discuss this? I don't actually want the light novels. Huh? You mean you want to give up the prize? Goro, don't give up your prize. If you don't want to see Miko, that's fine. We'll figure something out. No, uh, that's not what I meant. I'm not giving up the prize, and, uh... I can cope with the ceremony and the, <clears throat> the picture taking. But I have a request. I would like to ask Yai Publishing House to change the prize from light novels to books on agricultural science of equivalent value. Agricultural science? Yes. The land in Watatsumi Island is quite barren and always yields a poor grain harvest. We've been looking for new ways to improve the residents' lives. One of her ex, uh, Soul of the Deep's core objectives for the Iridori Festival was to purchase some works on crop cultivation and aquaculture. If I can get these books as my prize instead, we can save a lot of money, and Soul of the Deep can buy some other useful resources too. I see. I understand your request, but I don't have the authority to grant it. Lady Yai will have to have the final say. I will contact Lady Yai now. Please wait for our reply at the Five Kassen Plaza. Depending on the situation, Lady Yai might need to negotiate this matter with you further in person. Okay, understood. having to deal with Miko, but you still agreed to the ceremony and even made your own demands! You think so? I guess I got a burst of courage when I thought about Her Excellency's orders and the people of Watatsumi Island. I am the General of Watatsumi Island's Armed Forces. How can I let something like this defeat me? I'm ready now. I feel like I'm back on the battlefield. Even if Yai Miko does come to negotiate with me, I won't let myself be pressured by her. Pretty nervous though, Goro. 
Uh, well, probably because I just realized she might make a cunning counter request just to toy with me. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. How did it go? What did Guji Yai say? Lady Yai has agreed to request to swap the light novels for books on agricultural science. That's great! Additionally, Lady Yai says that she will include a few extra works, considering your intended use for those books. You may accompany me to Yai Publishing House's warehouse to select your preferred books. I believe your return ship leaves tomorrow night. We will package the selected books and take them directly onto the ship for you. You'll package the books? Then what about the ceremony? Lady Yai said selecting the books may take up a lot of your time and energy. To ensure you have fond memories of the Iridori Festival, she decided to cancel the ceremony. Although, she did leave you a letter. You can read it on your own time. I didn't think Yai Miko would cancel the ceremony. Huh. I was so convinced that she would try and make a fool out of me. Now it seems like I was overly suspicious of her. Anyway, I'll go with the editor to pick the books now. I won't trouble you guys anymore. Great! See you tomorrow night! was a big success, and I feel very positive about the forthcoming talks. Goro also made a great contribution. He procured a whole batch of useful books for Watatsumi Island. I may have won the prize, but ultimately it was Yaimiko who gave us all these books for free. If I have the chance in the future, I must thank her properly. Speaking of... Didn't Yai Miko send you a letter yesterday? What did it say? Oh! It, I, I almost forgot! I'll read it now. Dear Goro, I suppose you must have been extremely nervous when you heard about the prospect of the award ceremony and the photo. It came as a surprise indeed to learn that not only did you accept those conditions, you also made your own demands. Your courage has won my respect. Those books are a token of my goodwill to Watatsumi Island, and also my gift to you. I do hope you like them. Ah yes, I'm sure that by this point you must be feeling ever so grateful for my kindness, and are looking for a way to repay me, yes? Well, here's your chance. Yai Publishing House will host an event next month, and we are looking for someone to dress up as a character from a light novel and interact with the fans. Goro, you are not only patient, but also very beautiful. Why don't you come and help us? 
I'll prepare a tailor-made outfit just for you. Oh, and by the way, it'll be a woman's outfit. I knew it! I knew she was up to something! You were such a slacker.